Yo, 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 motherfuckers. Welcome to another episode of In Bed with Poseidon. Um, continuing the suit thing, as usual, but uh, the fucking lunatics in front of me aren't. Look at this. Look at this fucking mama. <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? I'm suited up. I don't know about you, bro. I'm more classier than you, bro. Look at this, bro. They can't hear us. They can't hear us. I have a bow tie, bro. My mic's not working. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. (coughs) Never mind. What's wrong? Look at it. You know what? What's wrong? (laughs) You guys are fucking assholes. Why? Why? You said put up, put just up. Yes, just up. You know how much ink I had to burn, bro? Look at this. It's a dress shirt. You can have a little rose. The time that it took you to print that, you guys would uh, have just as lie. much time to, uh, to dress up. A lie. A lie. This Cup took me five lie. minutes. A lie. This took yeah, me this five took, minutes. This, Hold on. Bro, this took 15 seconds to print. Yeah, nah. How, if it used that much ink, it took only 15 seconds. Bro, Lies! Bro, these are not printers <laughs> from 1974, bro. Like. Bro, Pukamiso, which is a shirt, dress shirt, pants, suit jacket. Three minutes, bro, not even, bro. You're lying. You said five minutes, two minutes ago. Bro, okay, two and a bro, half. Bro, get what you get, bro. Hey, Olga, how you doing? No, get because I'm get, not a beggar. Bro. You are a beggar, bro. You piece of shit. I'll Psst, fucking nice stab you on the tits. Girl, bro. 15 seconds. No, it's a, and then you got to put tape, and then it's got to stay. Another 10 seconds. Scotch tape, nah, bro. Nah. Literally 10 seconds. <laughs> what do you think took longer, Manu? Bro, literally, oh, obviously, this was my time. bro, literally, we were in the elevator while we did this, bro. <laughs> okay, that's all quick. It happened. All right, who we got in chat? We got Jorge uh, and we got Olga. Uh, welcome to In Bed featuring the distinguished gentleman, as usual. Not so distinguished as you can see. I can't hear nothing. Uh, they don't put in real effort. Can you turn up the headphones? Very distinguished. Very distinguished uh, with minimal effort. Scumbag. There we go. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Today, we're doing the episode at 1 p.m. Because uh, my wife's not here, so no one can watch the children. Yeah, there you go. So so, he's in school. Yeah, you you don't have. Uh, I like the early shows. I wish we could do it more. That, your cats you like the early shows? Are useless. Huh? Your cats are useless. Yeah, seriously, they can't watch your kids, bro. They, they can't watch my cats, kids, bro. bro. My son. garbage cats. Do they pay taxes at least? They don't, bro. Nah, bro. Why do we have them around? Their address in the, is in Belarus, bro. They don't have to pay taxes. <laughs> 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 Smart cats, bro. <laughs> We're the stupid ones, bro. Today, today, they yeah. be fucking idiots. I'm bro. looking for my cat. <laughs> bro, I can't find him nowhere. Bro, a guy's hiding behind pillows, just yeah, yeah. sleeping all day. I'm like, motherfucker. Yeah, bro. My the cat used life. to go in the closet, bro, where I have my uh, cuvertes and stuff. <laughs> to find you? Yeah, and I lost, bro. I thought he was gone. I thought she was gone, bro. No. I didn't have to shake the treats, bro, but the door was closed because I closed it. It was a, a no. bit ajar. Can you guys hear now on the headphones? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, we're good. You've run, how you been? Yeah, we're good. I'm good. Yeah, Same how's, how's uh, Argo? Like, bro, he's the best, bro. The best dog. He's just eh? the best, bro. He, just, he doesn't have bad days. He's a dog. Every day he wakes up, he's just happy. Like now he does the cutest thing. I think like as he's getting older, this is why dogs are better to cats. Because as he's getting older, he's becoming more affectionate. So like now when he wakes up, he comes up to me, like I'm still sleeping in bed. You give me a kiss. And then he puts his head here, like on my neck. And he Aww. sleeps with me and it's so warm, bro. And he does like these little like and it's right. <laughs> uh, he's telling you, he's telling you, don't jump today. Yeah. Don't jump today. Yeah. Bro, cats are better, bro. Cats cats don't work for the cops, bro. Cats don't what? Cats don't work for the cops. Bro, dogs it's only, are look, undercover. It's only German shepherds that work for the police, the canine unit. So we have to watch out for these Germans. That's it. Yeah, but that's apart it. from that, we're good. Bro, bro. As history has proven, <laughs> don't trust anything from Germany. Yeah. <laughs> or Austria. Oh, bro, I, was watching, car parts. I was watching yeah. a video. You trust car parts. Garbage car parts from Germany. <laughs> I was watching a video uh, from, uh, uh, fuck, do, you, do you guys know Andrew Tate? Yeah. yeah, he was on uh, the podcast with uh, Tom Segura and his wife. What's it called? This is a while ago. This was a while ago. Yeah, but uh, I saw a clip from it. Take a picture uh, of this after. Uh, bro, go fuck after, yourself, after. bro. But then why are you putting it in front of me now? So you don't forget. Are you finish insane? your story? Let's see this camera. Go on. So uh, <laughs> he, oh, solid that, camera. That was the first uh, podcast that blew him up, I think. Because he wasn't well known. Really? He wasn't really well known yet. Oh, I have no idea. Because he even said on two bears, he's like, "You fucking." It wasn't two bears. No, in two bears, Bert's like, uh, "You fucking caught it, man." You had him on before anyone. Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. It was when he was just misogynist, very underground. <laughs> <laughs> just misogynist. <laughs> just, but hold on. He said something really funny. The guy's actually kind of funny, like, if you listen to him. Like, some of the stuff are a little hardcore, bro, but he, he was talking about how... Uh, he, he he wouldn't wear a mask during the pandemic and everything. He wouldn't respect and everybody would, uh, they wouldn't do anything because he had money and right, uh, right. status. 
right? And then uh, he was talking about how he was in Germany and he walked into a, a fucking uh, coffee shop and the barista refused to, to, serve him? to, to serve him and everything. And then uh, the barista goes, no, it's the rules. And then he goes, what the fuck? Haven't you learned from fucking history? And he started like he started ripping the barista basically. Like, that's funny, bro. Like, wait, I'm sorry? wait, what rules? It's the rules to put on the mask and shit. Oh, okay, because of the mask. Yeah, 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 because yeah. of the mask. I thought they weren't serving him because of who he was. No, 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 oh. because he wouldn't have a mask. Okay. And he goes, haven't you learned from the fucking rules? And he started like freaking out and shit. I'm like, this is actually funny. Like, it's funny if you think about it. Yeah. Like, it's just a random bald dude with a crooked face walk into he Starbucks a and yelling. He does a bit. He does yeah. have a crooked face? Yeah, well, and the way bit. he talks, too. Probably from the punches. Kicks. Kickboxer. <laughs> no, he's a kickboxer. Legit kickboxer. And the kicks, yeah. Uh, and uh, he's just yelling at a barista. Fuck him off. Fuck a coffee, bro. <laughs> Did he get a coffee? Nice, the shirts, uh, Jess. Yes. This were expensive. What I, this is what I have this to deal expensive. with. This is what I have to deal with. You said you suit up, bro. What did I do? Suit up. I suited up, bro. You, uh, <laughs> you get you, what you get. Bro, you gate bro. up, bro. Next week, who knows what's happening. What's yeah. up with the rose? Don't ask, why are you asking? Why'd you, guys, why'd you guys choose these? We're going to a wedding after. Yeah. <laughs> we have to match. <laughs> yeah, bastards. what are you talking about? We're going to a gay wedding after, so we really have to oh. match. You know those afternoon gay weddings? The best weddings. <laughs> I've never been to a Everyone's getting afternoon? blown. <laughs> Everybody, what? Everyone's getting blown. You take a picture. Uh, afternoon gay weddings. Everyone's getting. What do you, what did you <laughs> talk between you're, yourselves? You're, you're making uh, what's it called uh, ideas uh, for your skills. How's yeah. stand up going? You did uh, last week. Uh, this I week? bombed. Uh, it's okay. Oh, I'm gonna talk about. It. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna talk about how I bombed. Hold on. I uh, talked between each other about your suits. How you oh guys picked it up, uh, bro? During the punch, like I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna write a skit that I just came up with. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what's happening. Okay, go on. Finish He's segueing thing. in his mind. You wanna hear, bro? A shitty situation <laughs> that happened to me yes last night, bro. Oh, go on. No day drinking, guys. We should have day drank. It's too uh, old. We're oh, rushing. Shit. All right. Anyways, nobody cares about your story here. Let me listen, take a Olga. Blah blah blah. There are too many people on the road during the day. We res- we don't want to take a chance. <laughs> what is Olga saying? Who's taking? Oh, how do you take pictures take like that? Picture of both of us, bro. Did you see how he I takes talk. pictures? Now nah, leave me alone. Who fucking uh, takes a picture nah, like this? Why What's wrong not suit up you? like retarded back? people? Bro. How? What do you mean? You like all like fucking like, took a like, picture a, like of a Korean girl because I, have, because I have big hands. I have big hands, so I like I got I leave well, my phone. Well, let me see this picture. Hold on. He took only pictures of you and me, not together. Oh, to- oh, together together you wanted. Thing. Oh, but you know, you guys do realize we're recording a fucking podcast right now. Okay. And you're that's, both that's fucking this coming it, from the guy who just stopped the whole podcast. To if you want to see this, <laughs> join patreon.com slash Patel to get the video. <laughs> and you don't have to wait a week and a half. I got to every time, every time you guys pull shit like this or I pull shit like this, I have to talk at the same time and say nonsense. While I'm writing something or while we're doing something, it's the first like time this. I see you write something so like about. that because it makes it hard on Padili. We literally have to stop this because he edits the podcast, so we literally have to stop doing this because he has. It takes extra time. He has to go and fucking clip out the silence, the dead air, the dead air. Yeah, <laughs> but that's a problem. Um. So yeah, so we uh, we gotta we gotta do that. We gotta we gotta make it more tight. Bro, no more time. What's it called, bro? So, anyways, I was I was also saying about my bomb. Nobody cares about your stories, okay? Listen to me. I'm the one wearing the suit here. <laughs> we're all wearing suits. We're all, bro. We're all wearing. Excuse me, bro. Bro, this is Prince Sachi. <laughs> Prince Sachi. It's Adi Yeah, but it's, it's even striped. It's a stripe. Oh, there's pinstripes. Yeah, bro. Fuck, I want to make a pinstripe suit. Bro, do you bro. have a rose? Do you? Yeah. No, I Where's don't. your rose, bro? How was your rose? <laughs> It's that in my pants. Ghetto, it's in my pants. Fucking guys ghetto, <laughs> guys ghetto. Guys ghetto. So yeah, so I want to talk about my bomb. Um, I bombed the hard, bro. It was on Monday. I started off really strong, but the thing is, uh, I forgot. No one gives a shit, bro, about your bomb story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot one of my punchlines. Okay. Well, my pre-punchline, like the buildup to it. I forgot what I was going to say. And then I was like, so what happened was I started off strong. And I always start off by saying, um, well, now recently, I would start off by saying, because uh, it's true also. I always start off by saying, I'm going to make this quick because I got to go take a shit. And people laugh. And then I start saying the jokes. And then uh, and then the build up to the punchline, I forget one little sentence. And, and then I did this. I go, what the fuck was I going to say? And people just stared at me. And it was hard to fucking uh, you can't recover from dig that, myself bro. out of that. I got them to chuckle at... Like I, would, I wouldn't say laugh five minutes. I wouldn't say uh, five minutes of hell, bro. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, I got them to laugh again. I got them to chuckle, but it was difficult, bro. It was hard, bro. How like, shitty did you feel, I, I, bro? At all my, but I wasn't. I didn't feel shitty. I felt I was angry towards myself for having forgotten what I was going to say. Did you get booed? No, 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 no. Yeah. 
Uh, but I'll you could tell I was, I was there. Yeah, I, was, I'll, I'll throw a shoe at you. But I could have saved it. I could have saved it by saying, "You see, guys, it's because I gotta take a shit. I'm focused on taking a shit, and I would have saved hey, it." I wouldn't have saved it a, a bit. But yeah. then, but I was too flustered. I was too. Uh, should have taken a shit. I was too bitch. annoyed myself. That <laughs> would have worked. Prove them. That would have worked. I'm lying. Eh? <laughs> that would have worked. I'm not a liar. Tell them, I just squat and let one go, bro. But because I'm in a perpetual no, you state squat, of having to take a shit, bro. You shake your leg, bro. Oh, it just comes out. Have it ready. No, like the have it ready, bro. Always always sunny. There's just a turd. Like <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> My cock ring fell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Bro, you want to hear about shitty situations, bro? Last night, I thought it was over with fecal matter with children, bro. I thought my kids were old. Oh, it's done, how, old are, how old are you kids? My daughter's six. My son's three, but this is my son. She's bro. six already. She's six, bro. Oh. Grade one. Hold so, on. Can I guess before you say? You will never figure out what he happened. He finger painted with his poop. No. Oh, okay. I will burn. I'll burn him alive. That's it. <laughs> Straight to jail. After. Okay, so it's not that. So it's not that bad. So I was playing with him. He likes listening to music and jumping on the couch. So uh -huh. I put. He likes Queen. So I put Queen, and I'm. I'm. Fr I hold his. A little hand. gay, but whatever. Good, good, good. Signs good, good rock. Band, those are the first talking, signs. Bro. You're so the best, stupid. Bro. It's he, a joke. He's bro. just singing because of Queens are you know. You're yeah. Queen. He's gay too, but doesn't matter. He fucked chicks oh. too. <laughs> so so I, I'm holding his hands. I'm flipping. I'm on the couch, dropping him fun. And 30 minutes before that, I just changed his diaper. Okay, so he had fresh diaper on now. No shit. And I'm, I'm picking him up. Then I pick him from his legs. I'm dangling him, throwing him on the couch. He's having a great time. He's laughing. Bedtime, okay? I go to change him. I go to put him <laughs> on a fresh night diaper. And I noticed, he, I guess his diaper moved to like his crack. And there was like a little poop on the line. So I'm like, whatever, you know, it was my fault. I moved him around. Maybe, maybe I didn't clean him as well. Whatever. Clean him again. Perfect. Go to bed. As he's sleeping, I go take a shit right after. And I smell shit. I'm like, well, it's probably me. You know, I'm shitting. I wipe, everything's good. I go to my computer. I'm like, it smells like shit. I go back to wipe my ass again. I get fucking baby wipes just to make sure, you know, because I don't have a bidet. I'm not like you. I wish, bro. It's coming. Bro, so man, I'm fancy. I know. I clean. I go back to my computer. I'm like, it still smells like shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I go change my underwear, change my shorts, change my socks. Maybe I don't know what happened, you know? But is this a normal thing for you? you no, just that's smell why, shit on no, yourself? No, that's why. I'm like, where's it coming from? Did I step? Did something happen? Why so would I'm you think changed it's now. You? I'm fresh. I go because it's 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 following me around. <laughs> it's not in one place. So <laughs> I sit down. Usually follows him around. I sit down. I'm like, okay, everything's done. I'm still smelling like shit. I'm on my computer. I'm looking. I'm looking. Bro. I'm looking at my white mirror, bro. I do this, bro. Isn't there like a line of shit, bro? Right in my uh, mouth because like, he was dangling on my chest, bro. And it was. I'm like. Ah, like, bro, I'm like, why? Why, disgusting. Just <laughs> a line of shit on the white beater, bro. The white, uh, white beater. Bro, on my beard, I took it out, bro. I cleaned myself up. Like, <laughs> shitty situations, bro, don't end in my house. <laughs> I couldn't see because of my beard, bro. I had to pull down the white beater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Change my underwear for nothing, bro. Put a fresh brown for nothing. <laughs> the guy got bamboozled, bro, by shit on his shirt. <laughs> on the crease, bro, on the, the line, guy, bro. Bro, that guy's changing underwear. He has shit on his chin, bro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> 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 that was good, eh? Oh, bro. Oh, you gotta write that shit down, bro. Write it down, bro. <laughs> oh my I'm gonna god. Start, you know what? Let me. Let, oh I'm gonna my try. god, bro. Next time oh. you go, can I come with you? Oh. Oh. Can I come with you? Do two minutes. Stop my neck. I want to see. I want to prove myself. I can't do oh, it. Oh fuck, bro. That was good, eh? Oh, bro, that was. <laughs> so I have to work on that. I have to work on that a little bit. Oh my god, bro. Ooh, oh, that was that was really good. That was really good. I haven't laughed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> put, put, put in the gulag. Put hey, no, no, don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Put in the, put in the gulag. No, don't let him touch the mouse. So he's producing. Put in, the, put in the gulag, bro. Put in the gulag now. <laughs> don't don't do it. I did it two weeks ago, bro. His story was so much better than your story of bombing. That was a good story. That was a good story, bro. Oh, oh, material, bro. But yeah, material. Your My son gives me material, bro. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> so it's waiting for you when you have babies beside it. Yeah, I'm never having kids. <laughs> Do you need to? Who needs oh to have kids, God. bro? Save your money, bro. Go on trips. Oh, that's amazing. 
you know what? I like your son more now. <laughs> I like this guy. Before I was like, yeah, this is a weird kid, well, bro. I know it's his son. Wrinkly. My suit's wrinkling. <laughs> you have an iron board. It's wrinkling and there's shit on it as yeah, well. Yeah, careful, bro. Don't get shit <laughs> on your careful, suit, bro. Man. Don't dry clean it with the shit on it. Bro, it'll, so it'll, confused, it'll become bro. part of the Walking around the house, bro, with Febreze, bro, spraying everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't smell. I sit down. I'm like, fuck. Where's it coming, bro? I was confused. I wasted ah. like six baby wipes around my asshole, thinking, bro, it's somewhere. Uh, you gotta, you gotta write that down. You gotta <laughs> write it down exactly how you said it, and come to the third floor on Sunday. He'll throw you on, uh, Josh. But you gotta do five minutes. You gotta write five minutes. Okay, I'll try. Write five minutes. When it's is hard. it? Five Monday. Minutes. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Okay, give me two weeks. No problem. Take your time. Whenever you're, uh, there's no rush. Where's the third floor? It's on uh, it's, uh, Stogie's. Okay. Oh, Stogie's cigar lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stogie. I went once with uh, Justin. It was very nice. No, we've been to Stogies <sighs> together. Oh no, my never. God. Really? I've only been once with Justin. Oh, oh that was good. You want to hear the story how oh. I broke my phone, bro? No, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care. I just like. <laughs> is it as good as the previous story? It was, I bamboozled myself, like, bro. If if, if not, no story is ever as good as that one or better, <laughs> you're not allowed telling stories anymore. That's I'll, it. I'll you be can't. quiet until the next 47 <laughs> podcasts. I told it time, it's time for the talking. conspiracy theory. I won't speak. Huh? I won't speak until conspiracy theory time. That's no, no, it's, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Oh, fuck. That is so good. Oh, I wasn't expecting it. My nothing, question is: Hold on, nothing prepared me for that. Nothing prepared him think, for like, that like, either. You, could you have ever guessed where the shit never, was? Never, <laughs> never, 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 never. I would have thought. You know what I would have thought? I would have thought. Why? This is brown line. I'm like, and it was. I know it was on my beard because I was like trying to sniff like this. Oh, that's you disgusting. Know, I was oh, I disgusting. went, bro. I was he was my face. shit in his beard. <laughs> oh, disgusting. <laughs> I'm gagging and laughing at the same time. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, bro! But my question is, Whew. when you thought it, first of all, the fact that you think you smelled like shit is very weird. Because no, because maybe I, I didn't wipe properly. Shit. I don't know. Okay, when you went and wiped, yeah, and then you still smelled like shit. Sometimes my asshole betrays me, and there, <laughs> I wipe clean, Wait, what? and then I, I wipe it's clean, and then it's like you know you get the itchiness. I'm like, oh, I didn't wipe enough, and I go back, and there's like one more wipe. So maybe I thought I bamboozled myself in the bathroom. After ah. six wipes, bro, and changing your underwear, didn't it click at some point that's probably not you? But it was following me to room to room. So I'm like, it has to be somewhere in me. It's not in one location. Bro, I'm there with the Febreze. Bro. <laughs> Cats are running away, bro. They think I'm there with a the machine gun. <laughs> oh, my God. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. I'm like, that's a story. Disgusting and hilarious. That's exactly what's in my head. Well, that's a story for tomorrow. Disgusting and hilarious, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny. <laughs> Because nothing prepared me. Like I was like, how does it smell? Like maybe he, he his son took a shit in the corner. Yeah, I, I was gonna say like, yeah, there's a there's thought, like a spatter of shit on the wall or when maybe, he was throwing him. Yeah, or maybe the cats. Maybe the cats took a shit. Cats he, never shit around my. No, 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 no. Are you sure? Yeah. My my because my cat took a shit on the carpet once. I think because we forgot to change his uh, litter box. That's the only they, they it happened yeah. once when I was on vacay uh, in PEI. The person taking care of them didn't clean the litter, uh, so they had to shit outside because there was no room. That's not their fault though. I do not blame. If you them. had an automated litter box, I do, but it got full. But uh, come December, I'm in buying- In a week? Uh, How much did they shit in a two week? Two weeks. I was gone two weeks. Two weeks? How much? Two sh- cats, bro. Get two litter boxes. No. where? Put them where, bro? My apartment. Use one. I'm going to buy in December the- In the bathroom. The robotic, the robotic one, the switches. In your, you know? in your son's bedroom. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, bro. These are very- uh, What is the chat saying? Hold on. Uh, damn, uh, power went out at work. Wow, Alex, your hair really grew out. Uh, that's what Ogo says. Hold, uh, Jorge, and I can't chat from my phone. Retournez chez vous, Jorge. Là, c'est revenu, c'était un jumper ou de quoi ou de Renault. Jorge, why don't, you, uh, why don't you focus on your job uh, like a tax paying citizen, like a law abiding citizen, and not. Uh, When's the last time you focus on your job, bro? <laughs> Today. <laughs> okay. This is literally my job. <laughs> and last night. Not very much focus. Oh, fuck. All right. I'm going to write this down. That's amazing. You write that down. Write, uh, try to write five minutes stuff that have happened in your life that you think uh, are you funny. You thought children and shit, bro, my life, bro. That's going to be me. No, no. Uh, it's uh, like Eddie Murphy. When he first started, it was just shit jokes. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Shitting in his toilet, bro, and stuff. When he first, first started. <laughs> That's all you know. I was like, what do you know, bro? You know, just shitting, bro. What else is funny in my life? It's true, huh? Right now, what else is funny in my life? It's shitty and it's all about shitting. That's it. <laughs> shitty in video games, bro, and wiping shit, bro. <laughs> Telling my my daughter, bro, takes a shit and doesn't flush, bro. She's trying to fucking assert dominance in the house. Why? Why doesn't does she flush? Do that? She wipes everything and then she leaves. She forgets to flush. I'm like, what are you doing, lady? 
go flush your shit. Do you yell at her? Yeah, I go, hey, come here. She's like, what? She's like, what's what's wrong here? What's I'm like, look inside. Your shit. I go, could you flush, please? Like, I'm I would like to address Jorge. I was not late. I have not been late in a while, actually, Jorge. So go fuck yourself. My Keep arm. Going. What happened to my arm? Yeah, he Keep was. Going. You were late. What are you talking about? You were late. When? Today. We started late because of you. Oh, bro. I'm going to stab somebody, bro. I swear to God. sure you started late. <laughs> I was here since 12.30. What time were we here, Mano? It doesn't matter what time you bro, were I was here. here. You I was were here late. at like 12.20. You guys, you guys you were waiting, waiting for him well, to get piece, here. Listen listen to me, listen I was me, waiting for I was waiting for the, the guy. Like, there's parking in the back, bro. There's a listen, parking. Listen, I found parking. It's no cheaper problem. than the street. It's cheaper listen than the street. This guy's driving around looking for parking. I paid $60 to come to this podcast with parking, which is not a problem. But you started late. Me and Alex were telling you, bro, it's 12.58. Can we get this show on the road? And you're like, yeah, we're supposed to start at 1, you, like normal people, yeah, not at late. 58. That's not late. That's you were late. By the time you not, were done your rant, bro, the and then you had to adjust the cameras at 11, at 1 o'clock for some reason, because that's when you always adjust the cameras. This is the part of every podcast. You're always late. It's Viren's tattoo that was my stuff, not mine. Widow's more punctual. Oh, uh, now he's gaslighting me. Okay. Wait, no, what? You know what? Put, put him in the gulag right now because of that comment. Put him in the gulag. Put him in the gulag. Oh, right yeah, now. it was mine. Bro, he uh, has a power outage. F- fix now he has, now he has, he's going to have an outage in the gulag. There you go. Why? Wait, what? He said p- Guido's more punctual than me. He is, though. What? <laughs> what are you going to do? Put me Even in the gulag. Uh, I can't. It? Was it last <laughs> Sunday? <laughs> mute him. <laughs> <laughs> was it, was it, he's doing it. He muted him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can hear him. Was he? He was late last time too on Sunday show. I caught the he first was, fifteen yes. minutes. He was. Yeah. Guido. <laughs> Guido. And yeah. He was walking in as Padilla was starting yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Big surprise. Uh, um, what was I gonna say? The picture you guys posted of you all th- four of you sitting down there. The you, video. Uh, the skirt. You, Guido, yeah, yeah. and uh, the other two. Claudio and, and, uh, and Adam. They Padilla. have names. I don't know his name. That's why I forgot his name. Wow, bro. Claudio is important in my life, bro. And I told Padilla, I go, this is an experiment, right? The banana is a psychological experiment on the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, because I saw it too. It I was, was watching, random. I'm like, so what's happening? I was watching what the video, I'm like, plan? that banana is so <laughs> random and out of place. Because it's not like there was a fruit bowl or whatever. It was just one banana. Just yeah. like a... <laughs> it's so whose banana was it? It was a social experiment to see yeah. who was gonna reach, who's gonna be Judas, who's gonna yeah. be the first to touch the banana. <laughs> the first one to touch. Yeah. Uh shit. whose banana was it? You figure it out? It was uh, Adam's. <laughs> he, it was, uh, banana, he ate he deep throated it and made eye contact with all of us. Sometimes banana hits the spot. That's very bro. awkward. A banana hits potassium, the spot. Bro. Did you know bananas? When my eyes twitching, bro, you eat a banana, bro. Really? really? Potassium, bro. Shut up. Did you know uh, uh potassium is more energizing than coffee? You eat a banana, you have more energy than uh coffee. I still need my coffee, but if you have coffee and banana. Bro, I've drank so much coffee in my life. Doesn't work for you. That it does nothing for me. Just I just to, drink mm. it because I like the taste. I have like 15 coffees a day. That's still. too much. Like this. No, that's this, insane. Needs I'm sorry. Two, hold needs on. Two. Look, look needs two. This, yeah, I have two. I have two. This a day. is my sixth coffee, which is double. So this is, it counts for like two. This is eight coffees. Yeah. Then I'm going to go to work, have another eight, nine coffees. That's then not I'm going to go. Then I'm gonna, what are you talking no, about? No, this is two. So I've had, oh, okay. I've had like, like five so far. So this is six, seven, because it's a double dose. Probably have another eight at work. Then I'm going to no, go that's home, crazy, bro. have another coffee, and then have a frappe before bed. But I don't do it because I need the caffeine. Like, sometimes I forget to drink coffee. I, I, and I, I, don't do it, I don't do it because I, I need the caffeine while he's shaking his leg. <laughs> no, it's literally, I just like the taste. That was me mm. at EA. We you guys like the, my shoes uh, this week? Let me see them, bro. He's fat, bro. He can't stretch. Oh, nice socks, buddy. Thank what you. is it? Burgers it's and fries? Hamburgers and fries. Bro, is that velvet, bro? Bro, those are... Yeah, yeah. What, bro, that's nice, bro. Velvet shoes, baby, velvet, baby. Bro. I have my other ones. They're you can't Calvin wear those Klein's. in snow, bro. Of course not. Yeah, those are nice shoes. It's raining outside, though. You Don't you are a little bit yeah, worried? Yeah, but I'm in the garage. Studies have oh, shown good. that people who drink coffee live longer. There we go. <laughs> According to that study, I'm going to live to 300. Well, that's because uh, that's a... At st- least. Hold on. That's a stupid study. I got to say, Olga, I appreciate you, but... That's How do you know it's stupid? What if it's, it's real? A, because almost every person on the planet drinks coffee. Well, almost Certain every person types. on the planet lives longer than they did 100 years ago. So That too. And people that don't have access to coffee, it's because who they're- Who doesn't have access to coffee? Poor people who die yeah. sooner. No, oh, they drink instant go. coffee, bro. Yeah, so you just proved her right. <laughs> Hey, I like instant coffee. Fuck I you. grew up on instant coffee. I drink instant now coffee Now I know every better. Day. Now it's Nespresso or nothing. Nah, what, when, when did you start drinking coffee? Uh, 13, 14. Me, 15. No, maybe like... No, 16. Maybe 16, like 12. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. 12? Instant coffee. 13, 14. Taste yeah. choice. Me, it was 16. Uh, do you guys remember when and why you started drinking coffee? Fuck. Like where and why? At home. At home, why? Oh, no, bro. Next doors, bro. How old was I when we were chilling at next doors? 
when 14? we first started 14? going. Yeah, so it was our next door. It's proper. Three, four frappers every day, bro. Sitting there for eight hours, wasting our lives. Oh, bro. no. What am I saying, bro? Much younger. Maybe like eight, nine. I forgot no frappe. No, yeah, you mean my brothers on a regular? Because oh, yeah. they, my brothers used to drink frappe. Especially oh, my brother Costa. Yeah, yeah, he used to have like 10 a day. He loves milk, bro. Yeah, he loves milk. So he would make me frappes when I was young. And we would drink okay. together. So like eight, nine. Yeah, I got oh, hooked fuck. on it young. Yeah. Okay. And you, why? Because we would go to the coffee shop constantly. Uh, Mia, was, was, uh, Mia was in high school. Uh, I was skipping, high school too. Yeah, was, I was morning. skipping so much, bro, and I was so tired because uh, between school, work, and committing crimes, I had no time to myself. Uh, <laughs> so, so, bro, I would literally show up late, and people would see me just drinking my coffee on my way to class. <laughs> like that's when that's when I started drinking coffee. Yeah, I think it was like in the morning. You know what tired. I used to do, bro? I had it good at home, bro, living at home with my mom. So in my bedroom, when you I would wake it, up, eh? you yeah, it, eh? when I would wake up, bro, this is what I would do. My bed was up against the wall, and the wall Calm was- Calm down, Olga. Get your- uh, Dry out your panties for a second. <laughs> and my, the wall the was the closet, and then to the uh, kitchen. Don't talk that, bro. Come on, bro. The, the, who? The, the TV is going to start dripping water all of a sudden. Two older brothers who are much more athletic and better looking than I am, so- uh, Bro! <laughs> bro, his but brother I Costa- I gotta say the truth. I gotta <laughs> say the truth. His brother, brother Costa, Costa doesn't age, bro. Is, uh, is a twin. Uh, the, Let, one, the one I know. Yeah. yeah, is a twig. It's true, huh? But he wears like triple XL and it Full. fits him perfectly. His Full. older brother, Costa. No, there's no way he wears triple XL. He yeah. wears triple XL. Wide and he's shoulders, a twig. broad shoulders. It built fits and him it fits like him it's, it's made for him. Yeah. Triple XL. Yeah. It looks so good on him, bro. Like his shirts are too big on me, but they fit him like a glove. Makes no sense. We're talking about the, the, the painter? Yeah. You don't know the other one, bro. <laughs> what? The other one's mysterious. Hold bro. on. Parts bro. unknown. Parts Hold unknown. on, bro. He's a, he's a stick. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but he wears double sense. XL because he's I've has seen broad shoulders. Because the size of your shirt doesn't go by how fat you are; it goes by the width of your shoulders. Yes, exactly. And because he's played sports his whole life, shirts. he's athletic, and he has broad shoulders. Bro, he wears triple. Bro, it looks so good on him. Really? Yeah, of course. Look, bro, oh, that's who, very interesting. Bro, let me ask you a question: Who looks older? <clears throat> uh, that's not a good picture of him, though. Well, okay, but whatever. Like, I mean, he like, does. This <laughs> shirt is probably like a double XL or a triple XL. Well, you should do like him. Shake yeah. your head too. He bro. is a big boy. Yeah, I boy. never, I never noticed. He's ten because he wears big shirts. They're baggy, but he's ripped, bro. Yeah. he's big, and he's ten years older than me. Eleven, actually. Fuck, good for him. He looks younger. Bro. And Running, you know what the secret biking. is? He has no kids, bro. No kids. There we go. You see? No kids. Today, uh, bro, I woke up. Hold and on, I hold back on. To That's right not away. true. That's not true. Look at me. You're fat, bro. Yeah, you're you're an anomaly, bro. <laughs> I can call you fat because okay, I'm sorry. fat. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm allowed. When you have your life together and you don't have kids, you look like my brother. When he you're a piece of stopped. shit and don't have kids, you look like you. Show to the uh, camera, she's saying. No, never. No, I can't, I can't. I can't. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's too much. That's confidentialis over there. Uh, confidentialis? confidentialis? Is that even a fucking word? Uh, but I I, uh, I took care of my brothers a lot when I was a kid, so I was a father before being a father. That's it. So hence, that's it. Yeah, there we go. There that's you why go. you're tired. That's why, that's why I'm always tired, but this is why these bags, bro. And your fucking eyeball, bro. When it, It's gone smaller. Did you do something? No, the, it grew more on this side. But yeah, I'm, I November seventh, November seventh. Who your eyeball? Oh, the sty. Could you film it? Can Wait, I, you can I still with you? have that? Yeah, I'm you going have one on the other 7th. side. Yeah, yeah, November seventh. What the fuck, bro? What it's do you a do? Sense. You it's nothing. It's they're gonna pop it out, bro. <sighs> but bro, what do you do? You wipe your your ass and then you wipe your eyes. Yeah. Fecal matter, bro. Check your shirts in case they're shit. Yeah, <laughs> bro. You never know, bro. It happened to bro, a friend a of a friend. Bro, there's a brown spot inside your collar over there. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? What were you going to say? What day are we? Thursday. All day? Fuck. My all coffee day. thing. Thursday, so I was day. at home. I no, no, wake no, up. Uh, no, no, no. You I was about to say before. something, but you fuckers cut me off. No, we did not cut they you cut off. Me off. You cut me off on the sty thing. What thai thing, bro? The sty thing. The sty? What was I saying? I was Stalin. saying, uh, my eyes have bags. Fuck, what was I saying? November 1st, 2nd, 7th. 7th before. What was I saying before that? There we go, bro. Fuck, bro. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I would um, wake up, and I would just knock on the wall, and coffee would be presented to me. It was the best, bro. That's amazing. Like this. And if she went in, I'll do it. Hey! 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 She's like, hey, relax! <laughs> <laughs> she would come, bro. My oh, wife, my brother. Oh, so, okay, my yeah. brother. You were taking uh, care of your brothers. Yeah. That's taking, why you were tired. Yeah, there you go. You say I listen, bro. My brother, uh, he doesn't like me talking about our personal affairs on uh, the podcast. <laughs> now that, that now it's too late, bro. Tell him. Um, Hold on. Which one? The one that was caught jacking off, bro? In the yeah, the, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Does he know yeah. he said that? Huh? I don't think. Does he know? That story exists. Yes, I'm he's sure, heard it. Of course, okay, he's here's heard the it, thing. Man. He's heard it. I've told him I've talked about it. And you know what he told me? He's like, he laughed. He goes, ha, that's funny. You don't care that we talk about? Nah, I don't give a fuck. But now he does. 
So now, uh, you, you guys heard two Drake minimum. You got pink eye. Your girlfriend farting in your face. <laughs> yeah, that bro. could happen. Bro. Yeah, bro. Me, I'm a gentleman, bro. I mean, I take us. care of my lady. Bro. We does, bro. High five, bro. And yeah, I'm like Jorge over here, fucking uncultured swine. <laughs> that wasn't my phone. I'm on mute. Um. So yeah, listen. So uh, <clears throat> he's pulled out. Uh, so he was a uh, atheist, bro. Why is this desk crooked, bro? I swear to God, it is. Eh? Okay, I okay. thought it was me. Pull it more towards your end. Yeah. No, you just have to do this, bro. Yeah, yeah there you go. No, okay. no, now it's no, crooked no. over there. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Um, so basically what happened was uh, he didn't mind at the time uh, talking about him. He got mad at me, though, for uh, what we spoke about on 2DM, the whole uh, fiasco and the Indians wanting to beat him up and everything. You guys remember that? No. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, yeah, you don't? I don't know. That's because you don't listen to Do Drink Minimum yeah, because you're a piece of shit. You're not a fan. I, you know what I do? Fuck I listen you. to the clips on YouTube. Okay. Yeah, so, stuff. anyways, so he was upset <clears> at me uh, that I spoke <clears> about uh, that situation. <throat> uh, so, we haven't been talking much this, that. I've been looking to to start a business or Who, something. You? Yeah. I was looking at a garage, and the location is very nice. And it's fully renovated. It's beautiful inside. It's like a, an automotive garage. Yeah, it's a car detailing shop, and there's a space for two lifts. So there's already one lift, and nice. there's space for one more. But my brother <clears throat> graduated in mechanics. Uh, smart. I was like, yo, it would be it would be nice to go with my brother into business. You know, family business is that. You know, I could manage the the front end. He manages the back end, right? And uh, fucking kid, bro, has pulled a one eighty, and he goes, "You have to apologize to me." And Fuck him, bro. He went full religion on me. He used to religion. be religion. He, went, he became full religious, full 180, became super religious, bought a Bible, a $200 Bible with gold pages, reads it. He's super into like God and shit how old like is he that again? now. He's, uh, <sighs> how old am I? 29. He needs He's pussy, four bro, and a half maybe. years. No, no. He has a girlfriend. Um, is she He's the reason 25, why? Bro. He's 25. Is she the no, reason no, no, why? No, no, no. Uh, he's 25, yeah. He's No, he's going to be 25 in November. Anyways. How live? God forgives. <laughs> it's true. It's a good one. So you pulled a full 180, so I don't know what the fuck to do now. Can I tell you why that happened? Why? Because we learn from our environment and from our mistakes. So he looked at you as an older brother and he said, this man here is a piece of garbage. Garbage. And he doesn't have God. That's I'm why he's a, a piece, piece of garbage. garbage. So he's like, you know what? I need to find God so I don't turn into a piece of shit like this human being. And that's why he's trying to find God. Well, he's trying to go on the right path. Leave him alone. But you do owe him an apology. Just apologize. Huh? But what Just apologize. Drove him to Me? Jesus? Yeah. No, for what? I didn't do nothing wrong. For, for saying the story. Why? Because that was a very personal story that he didn't want you to say. Just apologize. Be like, look, man, I'm sorry. I may have overstepped. Like, let's put it behind us. Let bygones be bygones. But you should be the but bigger man. No, no, no. Why? No, no. Because, Why? hold on. I was treated like shit. By I was who? yelled at by him and his girlfriend. A whole thing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying everything because I don't want to say everything. I don't want to say more. Say it all. But a whole thing happened. And I was treated with disrespect after because so I his girlfriend about, was angry too. Yeah. I mean, she talked to him, bro. She's whispering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then and then she's she's the and then I'm taking a she's shit. And then I'm taking a shit. And then I'm taking a shit. And then I overhear from the bathroom because the walls are paper thin. I overhear from the uh, from the bathroom and he's talking to his girlfriend and goes, He's he's a narc. He gets close to you just for the story. <laughs> he's not wrong, bro. He's not wrong. What do you mean he's not wrong? Back in the day, I don't know. He's Wasn't all your family angry at you? What? Because you were telling them stories. No, no, no. He thinks I helped him just to get the story so I could say it on podcasts. So start a business thinks, just for the story. No, no. He thinks I risked my life because oh, you don't know. Oh, the he doesn't story. know the story. I don't though. know the, know the story. Understanding. I saved him. You, you want to summarize? Is this it? recent? Okay. Just summarize uh, look, there, his, the story's uh, already out there. His girlfriend committed credit card fraud, and uh, then some Indians wanted to beat him up, and I stepped in, and I. I is this him. recent? This is a few months ago. Yeah. Oh, I don't know this story. So, um, tell me. Yeah, after. it's the same brother, Jorge. So yeah. So anyway, so that's the story. I, I summarized fast, fast. Yeah. Right? So you helped him, and he so did the wrong. I helped and spit him. on your face. I bro. helped him. And then I get treated like shit because I spoke about the events I witnessed. I never spoke bad about my, my brother in the story. I never spoke bad about his girlfriend. Uh, I think Mike call, uh, called her a stupid bitch on two drink minimum. But that's out of my control. That's not me, you know. Um, so I never spoke ill. I just said this and this happened. I just uh, uh, told the events from my point of view, right? Um, so did I do anything wrong by doing that? No. I haven't bro, heard the just, story, so no. Anyway, listen to me, bro. Just apologize and get it over so, with and just move forward. Do, no, then, you're but, being hard-headed. No, he's but being then I wouldn't want to work with him if he's like that. If he's all about... Because imagine imagine I say something and I got to apologize to him every single fucking time. 
Bro, it sounds like a jigaboo. fucking building is about to collapse. <laughs> what the fuck? But just keep going. Holy shit. You were so talking, yeah. bro. So yeah, so uh, You stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> we're listening, bro. Keep going. But I thought keep my listening. life was about to end. So yeah, so uh because uh, now I'm thinking like if I go into business with him, is he gonna pull this God shit with me and all this stuff? And what did he say exactly about the God stuff? Huh? He goes, like, You must repent. Uh you know you're in the wrong. You have too much pride to apologize and uh, bullshit. He's not wrong. Prove him wrong. It's not bro. pride. Prove but him wrong. I didn't Prove do anything wrong. wrong. Prove him wrong. But, but, hold on. Wrong. But I didn't do anything wrong. Did who cares? I? He's your brother, bro. Apologize. Bro. Just apologize. What do you mean? Bro. Why do I have to apologize? Because you don't fight with brothers, bro. I'm not fighting. He's fighting with me. Yeah, but there's a tension. I was talking. There, no, there's no there tension. There should be zero tension. No, there was no tension. He has the tension. He's the one that's mad. I'm not mad. I was never mad. Okay, then you know Even what? Though I was Scrap your business idea and just move on with your life. Even I, no, 100. percent That's what I'm doing. Murder. Even though I was disrespected, but we will talk about this business idea. Oh, because I like that business idea. Only like it. Yeah? I'm going to show you the place. You know how much money you could make? Yeah, okay, where? I'm going to show you the place. Okay, yeah. It's on No, no, no. Details after. Okay. Off air. Okay. Okay. And, uh, oh, fuck, I got to, because it's exciting. It's, it's, it's perfect because I exciting. have a detailer and a mechanic. And and I was actually looking for. Are you serious? I was actually looking for a shop with, with a detail a booth. Oh, my God. Details what? They they clean, like, uh, everything clean, in the wax, car. wax, polish. Like, yeah. go inside with a toothbrush and stuff. Yes, bro, Instagram, yeah. Yeah, toothbrush. Yeah. Well, that's what I want. Issue, bro. No, no, but for real, yeah, sometimes you have to go with. Cars the, don't have teeth. <laughs> they do. They have grills, bro. Oh, oh you bastard! You got, oh, try that you one. got me, bro. You got me, bro. Just walk out. You're done. <laughs> yeah, that's a leave, bro. <laughs> Wait, no. We need your conspiracy theory. Oh okay, yeah. Do good. you have one? Finish. Yeah, Listen, you have two options. Bro. Okay. Either you apologize. Be like, look, man. I'm sorry. I'll put my pride aside this time. I, you know, whatever the case is. Don't even tell him. Like, look. I don't think. Just say, oh, look, man. I'm sorry. Let's put it behind. Like, because if you say, I'm Not, sorry. I don't like the God stuff. No, but listen to me. Listen to me. If you just say, I'm sorry, let's put it behind us, then that's a sincere, it'll be like, look, man, I'm your brother. We're not going to argue about this anymore. I'm sorry. Let's just move on, okay? Going forward. Now, if he retracts him, starts to be like, no, no, I want to, then he's being a dick. Or you just forget about it. And that's what I told him. Let's forget about it. Let's not, like, why this, why do I got to apologize for not doing anything wrong? I did nothing wrong. I didn't, I didn't hurt him. Oh, no, you obviously did. I helped him. No, you hurt him. How did I hurt him? By bringing the story to light. Like, he's hurt, boy. To Maybe. light. It's just a story. Well, I know, but... You get them close for the stories, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's a narc. He's a narc, bro. I'm a dog. I'm a German yeah, Shepherd. Bro, doesn't he look like a narc that goes into, like, an Italian <laughs> establishment? Like, he's a cafe, like, hey, oh, can I get a cappuccino over oh, here? And, some, uh, and I talk like this. Oh, the, and yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the gabagoo. Oh, where me, do I buy the guns? Me, I'm bro. a legitimate mobster, bro. Do me a favor. <laughs> Right after the show ends, can we go to Cafe Gentile and walk in just by yourself? We're going to be recording and just start talking like, hey, oh, can I, what, what's a guy got to do to get us some agabagoo over here? Put it on uh, Tony's bill. Yeah, put it on Tony's bill. Tony says I heard him by telling the story to everyone. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. You have to tell Mike some to apologize. Some people have feelings. Tell Mike to apologize. No. <laughs> what? No. But yeah, people have feelings. And so do I. No one ever apologizes to me. Yeah, because you're a piece of always, shit. Always. I always uh, yeah. apologize. When? Whenever I make fun of you, I apologize right away. That's bro. true. You do. You always, do. bro. I don't. Hold I on. don't. Yeah, don't confuse yeah, you him don't. with you me. Don't. I don't. No, Adelie I don't. Doesn't. No, I don't. Because uh, to me, that's a way of making you stronger. Who else apologizes to you on a regular basis? I'm making my brother stronger. Huh? Who else apologizes to you? Apologizes to you. Apologizes to me. I'm reading a Bible right now. Nobody. Yeah. Bro, not even my own mother. Remember the last time you tried to read the Bible, bro? <laughs> 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 the, the spirits were in me, bro. Yeah, I was the, reading the, it. The, the devil was why. coming out, bro. Like the, the demon was thumbs, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. my name is Legion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's saying just to be the bigger man. If you are, like, you are the bigger man in terms yeah. of physicality. You're much yeah. heavier. You're like, Tell him, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to pass? Let's pass. Let's uh, move it aside and uh, get to business. <laughs> and if he says, Jesus said no, then he said, fuck off. No, but, you know, be the, like, like, you know, as a, as a, uh, a trait quality, you know. I'm always the bigger man, though. Yes, you are, you're a very large human That's being. That's not what I mean, you <laughs> asshole. He's big bone. He's big bone, yeah. I'm big bone. My mom's like I'm a bird. Bone. His bones Anyways. are hollow. Could you imagine he gets on the scale? He's 75 pounds. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'm always being the bigger man. But anyways. Uh, all right. Moving on from this uh, garbage story. Um, do we go into the conspiracy theory early or do we talk about a few stuff? Because I want to talk about Britney Spears, bro. What happened? Oh, man. Again. Oh, my God. On Twitter, bro. Again, bro. Bro. She posted a tweet and oh. I believe he tweeted and he tweeted something. Stop, funny. bro. Bro. She wrote. Hold on. <laughs> Let's just search up. La, 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 la. We're searching. Murder. It's her latest tweet. 
And it's basically a picture of her on her side, completely naked, covering her titties and her pussy like this. Look, oh, nice. That's like nice. that. Very nice. And she writes, I have a premiere for a movie this week. The legislative act of my pussy. <laughs> Let me see. That's what she wrote? Yeah. 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 That's fine. What, she started only fans? Turn the cheek like Jesus said. Oh, I should text him that. Yo, why don't you turn the, your cheek like Jesus said? Why don't you turn the other cheek? That's fucking weird. Yeah, anyways, look, okay. uh, we're, we're Good for her, though. Now. What's uh, wrong? Okay, what's what's the problem? She's I just, talking only fans. I just, I just love that she's lost her mind. She's lost a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but like she's gone. Off why the are other? Heavy. Why is every other skank allowed to show the half naked on Instagram and start OnlyFans, but Britney Spears is not allowed? No, no one is saying she's not allowed. That's not what I'm saying. It's just that people, some of her You're fans, saying she's lost her mind. I, yeah, but because she had a certain innocence to her. No, she didn't. Yeah, bro. she did. Her first album, bro. She was just like a schoolgirl, bro. Yes, ready to get but, raped. She, but she still had a bit of in it. She was like that girl next door that's sexy. You know what I mean? Type of shit. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. What'd you do? Were you fucking around, bro? What are you doing, bro? No, he's fine. He was laughing. Bro. Why are you Calm ripping? the fuck what is down, that? bro? What is he popping, bro? You popping uh, pills, bro? Popping pills, bro. Popping pills, man. Bro, doesn't he look like a road man? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, see. Other but you, you could be our Tota truck driver in our startup no, no. company. You, you don't know what a road man is? What? A road in, in the UK. A, a road it's a drug man. dealer. Oh, oh, is it? Yeah. yeah like I, we would know yeah, that. Yeah, why would I know British slime, UK, bro. bro, you don't listen to UK drill. <laughs> Peasants. Um, <laughs> listen to good music, bro. <laughs> so uh, what was I saying? She's hot fucking 40, bro. Yeah, yeah she's, a, she's a hot 40-year-old. But uh, I think she had this innocence about her. I think that's why people are kind of like... Why, when she was in, ca- in a cage, bro? Even when... Because... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, what I mean, even when she was younger and she was a pop star, you know, she was sexy, she was attractive, and she was hot, but she had still this innocence about her. I don't know how to Baby explain face. it. It was like an energy about yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. You know? So I think just to see that innocence uh, leave, for most people, it's kind of like, oh, she's gone mad. Bro, it left when she was fighting paparazzi with umbrellas, bro. <laughs> that's when it left, bro. That They're was like 20 parapluie? years ago. Parapluie. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that's why people may be like, she's lost her goddamn mind. Whereas opposed to uh, 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 a woman that does OnlyFans from the get-go and she was a porn star or whatever from the get-go, there was no, there was never any air of innocence attached to her. You're like, ah, well, it's expected. But this is unexpected. It's like a- um, know how much money she's going to make. Who, uh, Britney, if she makes oh, an OnlyFans? Kinds, bro. I don't think she's going to do that. I think she's just doing it out, enjoying herself. Why? Exactly. And make bank the amount of money. Uh, the amount of money she will make. No, nah, bro. She doesn't want to expose herself. She's just doing it to fuck with people and say, like, this is me, like, now finally free. But it's just also years of psychological torment, bro. And yeah, 100%, basically 100%. fucking a slave to her father who basically was telling her what to do and what she can't do. And uh, had her money and everything. Like this is her. This is her being eighteen years old. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, is 100%. her living her life. This Bro, is, honestly, this is the, I, the best Britney. Honestly, I'm I'm for this. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, I'll sign up. If it helps I'll her heal, everyone. if it helps her heal, go, uh, we charge it to Poseidon to buy the. If it helps her heal, go ahead. Yeah, but that's a business expense. But what is a business? Expense? Her only fans. Sign Research. up to her only fans. <laughs> <laughs> that's a business Research. expense. Research. Could you imagine the accounting at the end of the year? Four hundred fifty okay. only fans accounts. If, if as I was expenses. If I if I was single and this was like a a big multi-million dollar corporation every end of the month would be like what half a million dollars in in, in whores. Mean, this is whores. a multi-million whores dollar in the office. corporation no it's a you're right whores on retainer bro no it's a Shh, dual don't 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 give <laughs> divulge the numbers because if they find out how big we actually are then we're in trouble bro. ah fuck bro like we play the low key oh we're just a stupid <laughs> podcast and what but that's you know let's not expose how big we are in latvia and and other Montenegro, countries, bro. Montenegro, the 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 Democratic Republic of the Congo, so on and so forth. Number <laughs> number one podcast in Tanzania, Banana Republics. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So I, I, I'm all for that shit. She's uh, having the time of her life. Yeah, she's just smoking. a hot milf doing hot milf shit. That's ain't, it. Ain't, ain't got nothing wrong with that. Ain't, ain't got nothing against that. I mean. Conspiracy theory time, bro. Yeah, let's go. What did you bring? Because I brought one too. Eh? So today, oh, oh yes, yeah. I was supposed to bring one. Oh, is that what? Save yeah, it, of then. course. Save it for next week. Wait, you were supposed to. What, it's you true. I to asked you. Oh, no, 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 no. We have let's do both. Let's do both. Yeah, complete. Let's do both. We'll do both. Yeah, we'll do both. No, no, no. Save it. And then we'll I'll judge. throw no. in a conspiracy theory too, just to fuck a pot. I don't feel like doing it. Oh, you brought one. Oh no, but I'll make one up. I don't feel like doing it next week, so keep it for next week. No, no, no. Two conspiracy theories. I can find another one. I can find a lot. Trust me, I'm very good at this. Keep going. I'm very good at stupidity. <laughs> Do you know who Admiral Byrd is? No. Nope. Do you know? 
He was his he admiral. Was an admiral. He was an admiral in the Navy. Um, the British Navy? During World War II and after. Okay. So this is the conspiracy of Admiral Byrd's in the diary of hollowed earth theory. When he flew over the Antarctic. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Okay. This is interesting. This is my ballpark. Okay. So I'm going to put on the Discord after this the, his old diary. Hey, Steph. You're fucking late, by the way. You don't you like put, my suit? Put in the gulag. No, don't put in the gulag. No, don't put it. Don't put it. Don't put it. Don't put it. <laughs> okay, keep going. Instant remorse. What about uh, look? Uh, my notes. Turning more my, fir- democracy. my first note: shitty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so bro, bro, sh- sh- shitty shirt. After shitty walk, World War II, walk. there was theories that uh, the Nazis went to Antarctica and had a base there. Have you guys heard of that? I've heard of. Uh, so there was a theory. Stuff. So they he they went out there to just do some recon, just to do some research mm. and st- make a military base there. And uh, why? Ex- bro, after World War II, they had so much money. They had so much planes. It was just ex- they were just explore- exploring. Before the that, Nazis? No, no, no. The U.S. in general. They didn't okay. have money and equipment to go travel into Antarctic, correct? The North Pole's Antarctic, right? Antarctica is south, correct? Yeah, Antarctica is in the south. So yeah. he went North it's Pole. Antar- Arctic? Antar- Arctic? It's Antarctic? It's Antarctic? It's Antarctic? It's Antarctic? Listen, I'm going to teach you something. Arctic? Anti-Arctic. Fucking Antarctic. The devil, bro. A lot of ants. So hollowed earth. Apparently, I did a little research. It's It's been around for a couple of thousand years. Greeks talked about it. There have been... Uh, yeah, every culture had its own hollow earth. You know, earth the, the, the Viking... Uh, Greeks were about the, the cave systems going to uh, Hades. Mm-hmm. The Vikings, they had different dimensions, you know, like Jotunheim. And well, they had places. seven... The it's seven, called uh, Jotunheim. Jotunheim. Yeah, they had the seven yeah. realms, they're, they're called. Realms, so, they had not dimensions. So he starts his departure around 8 a.m. You know, From his where? flight. From a, like a, from Antarctica. From oh, the but where in Antarctica? Their base. I don't know exactly where. Where was the base? Like the, at the edge, bro. Oh, was it another town or at a city? Oh. What was the city called? I don't think what so. There was, was the a city called? in the 40s, bro. Antarctica. Or a town? Or a base? No, there was a base. I said a base. Yeah, but what was the name? Where was it? Ignore the dog. Where was it? There was no base. Well, what's a going dog? on? Whatever. Listen to me. Stop it. fucking interrupting me, okay? This is what happens in the day, by the way. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So he was flying over. But okay? hold on. He left from where? From the military base that they had there. But where was the up. base? In Antarctica. But where in Antarctica? Not in the middle, bro. That's all you need to know, bro. Okay. At the base, bro. But no, okay, so not in the middle? On the edges? At the edges, yeah. Where, Near where? Greenland, bro. Are you happy? That's north. North, yeah. No, but Antarctica is in the south. Arctic. You're correct, bro. Correcting me. He's going to hold the on, North so Pole. He's in the North Pole. Arctic. Arctic. Oh, there were Arctic rumors circle. that there was German bases. Wasn't this base in Antarctica? No, no. In He's Ar- saying the Arctic. the Arctic Circle. The Arctic Circle. North oh, Pole. I have a crazy story after. Okay, go on. Okay. So now we depart. It's eight in the morning. From He's where? Ready. From the Arctic. From So the North Pole. The North Pole. Right but where? North Pole. Where Santa Claus lives. Okay, but where does he live? At the, the North Arctic. Pole. The North Pole. You know his address? One, uh, no, it's H O H O H O. What's the G? <laughs> it's you know, you can, you can, uh, yeah, you can uh, mail stuff. Yeah. And what's Canada the post, post will post reply to you. Because he lives in Canada. His postal what? code is H O H O H O. It's ho, ho, ho. <laughs> what is the geographical uh, um, position? Position. One, two, two, three, four, negative one, two, three, five, five. Okay, keep going. Go he can't disprove it. He says no. <laughs> Altitude, bro. Okay. Yeah. So he's flying. Latitude, he's yeah. reporting what he's seen. He goes, you know, smooth, no hills, just snow. This is in Reckon. the North Pole. This is in the North Pole. Okay. okay. Everything's cool. Not Antarctica. And around 10 a.m., he's reporting he's seen hills. Hills? Of green. That they have eyes. Of greenery. Oh, okay. Okay. And the temperature outside was 75 degrees. It was very confusing. Oh, what? Yes. And it was just fields of green and mountains. And he's like, this should not be here. He was very confused. He's writing all this. He's talking to to the to the base back. He's reporting okay. everything he's seen to Houston. To Houston, yeah. Okay. okay. Keep going, because uh, you can't. And over the and then uh, out of nowhere, over the radio, someone comes on and starts speaking into like a uh, English Germanic phrasing, saying, "Don't worry, Admiral Bard, we've been expecting you. Don't worry, you know, you're Admiral safe. Bard, uh, Admiral Bard, Bird, Bird, Bird. I think his name. But do you know okay. what the word is? The word is bird. Yes. <laughs> and the bird, 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 quit interrupting bird, me, bro, bird. before I stab you, bro. <laughs> okay. Keep going. He's like, welcome, Admiral, to our domain. This is what he says, what, what he heard back. We shall land you in exactly seven minutes. Relax, Admiral. You are in good hands. After that, he lost control of his plane. Like all of his uh, measuring uh, instruments. His, uh, instruments were going out of whack and it was taking control by something else. He no. didn't understand. This is 1947, too, remember? Okay. Okay. So the engine, the plane stopped running, <clears throat> and the aircraft went under. 
some strange control and you couldn't turn back. You had no control over it. So as he's flying, he sees this big hole. And underneath, inside of it was this huge city. Okay? Of advanced stuff. This is where it gets weird. Okay. Okay? Hollow dirt theory. Okay. So as he lands, he's uh, like, the master's been expecting you, they said. Okay. Okay? Do we have... Well-known surface world. Can you search this shit up, uh, Manox? Admiral Bird. Okay? And when he meets... This one's a very good conspiracy. uh, She's a dog here, bro. Okay, whatever, bro. Okay, so, drug so, basically going on. What hap- so basically, what basically what happened is they he lands us. and they took him to see the. That's okay, yeah, that's okay. And they took him to see the the master. That's what his name okay. was. They were all human looking, but taller, all of them. And inside of that hole was like completely huge city of advanced technology and everything. And he's talking to them. He's like, "We've been trying to reach, uh, contact your kind." Oh, that's actually with starting our planes, to get on my nerves. By our planes, but no, uh, no luck. And finally, when we saw you were coming to do research, we we were expecting you. But hold on, they were so advanced they couldn't reach out to anyone. They and were getting they re- shot down. Their their planes because they did. They never. They said we never interfere with your human race in your wars and your religion. Nothing. We let you guys be. But because you guys start invented the atomic bomb, that's when we had to step in. Uh huh. Because they felt it. You know, no human should have that power. He told them. Yeah. Okay. Keep going. So that's not from him, but that's the theory. I don't know if that's true, bro. Imagine, bro. That would be sick, by the way. Keep going. Keep going. So he's basically telling him, um, you need to go back and tell your people to uh, stop nuclear power. Okay. You, get, you cannot handle it. Your race, you're not advanced enough. You will destroy your own people if you continue. Okay. And after World War II, if you realize, all the, didn't they sign a treaty like uh, no more nukes? What? No more uh, like a nuclear power, nuclear I'm sure weapons. It was some, uh, they signed a treaty, put it down. And one. also, how many rumors have you seen aliens go over, uh, what are those called? The silos. And basically take over and shut them down. Nuclear silos. I've, what, what are you You've never heard of that? I've never heard no, of that. I've heard of that too. Broken set up. I've heard that too. Research that too. Okay. So basically he's telling him this. He's like, go back to your people and tell them you need to stop doing this. Or else you, your human race is going to fail by some stupid like Putin blowing shit up, you know? Uh-huh. Someone pulling the trigger, and then it's over. Everyone's going to start pulling triggers, then the fucking, the whole atmosphere is going to be fucking fog, bro. Nothing will grow. Mexican standoff. Mexican standoff, exactly. On a global scale. So they send them back now, okay? And as he lands, uh, they, um, the so Pentagon tells him, we need to talk. Okay. And apparently, from what he says, he told everything he saw and everything he was told, and they knew about it in a way. The mm-hmm. higher ups. Okay. He goes, okay, thank you for your information. The president's been told. He was locked down, like basically in like a prison office for like hours until they debated what's going to happen. And then he told him, you're not allowed to speak of this about to anyone. Keep it confidential. And all of his work was uh, classified after that. Okay. Okay. He only started writing it later on in his life when he died. So my theory hold on, is. Hold on. How did he write this when he died? No, he wrote a book. Uh, before he, wrote, he died. Before he, wrote, he wrote a book. How old, how old was he when he died, by the way? Just curious. Mano, could you research this? Yeah. Admiral Barr, how old was he when he died? You mean Bird? Bird. <laughs> okay. A- Admiral Akbar. So basically the theory is that there's a it's civilization a in the earth that's more advanced. Maybe uh, the, the whole of that picture, it's showing Antarctica's there and like other Viking uh, the realms, city, basically. realms, basically, is in earth. And they don't interfere with us. He was 60. He died, 60. he died 10 years after then. Uh, ten, uh, 10 years after he made his book? Yeah. No, 10 years after he did his exploration. Okay, so he didn't when live, did so maybe he, they killed him. Hold on. 47 he went. When did he write his book? Probably his, the or last his, year or two of his death. That's before his death. That's suspicious. Why? Just search. When did the Admiral Byrd book, uh, like when it was, it was released? It was like, a, it was like his uh, memoirs. Okay, memoirs, book, his okay. uh, diary, bro. Okay, but, him but why is dick. it suspicious? The theory well, is... Well, we got to look into the this, The theory bro. is that they wouldn't mess with us. They let us live our lives, fight our wars, uh-huh. our religion. But when we discovered nuclear power, they had to interfere and be like, you guys need to relax or else you're going to destroy yourself and the world and okay. their world, you know? Okay. They can't comprehend the power they have. We can. Us, we well, can. I mean, we can comprehend. We but just don't stu- know. Yeah, but we're stupid. Yeah, we don't know how to use it. We, exactly. Yeah. You know, we'd rather destroy ourselves before yeah. anything. So that was the thing. It's very toxic of us, but keep going. So what do you think? 
Is there a hollowed earth? Is there another civilization more advanced, thousands of years advanced than us? Hmm. That, that and, has been living with us. And maybe all time. these spaceships you see going fast and going in the ocean is just that civilization. Because aliens, if you think of it, a lot of people say aliens don't exist because you can't travel through light. No, well, space. you can fold space and then go through. That's yeah. a theory. Yes. We don't know if that's true. You're right. You're right. You know? What makes more sense? Aliens are already inside and they're just coming in and out. Or what if you to travel through space, you do it interdimensionally? So, you know, we're talking about the third, fourth dimension. You just said that, fold space, yeah. So, hold on, not folding space. Because folding space, you got you to gotta remain in this dimension. But uh, basically, what you me. do is you teleport. It's kind of like it's kind of like teleporting, uh, 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 like fast forwarding and rewinding or like selecting a scene on a movie, right? What if you like jump up to the fourth dimension and then you want to be at this point in space and time in the universe and you just you get dropped off over there. But now you're in the fourth dimension. So you see everything. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Yeah, I know you what should, you mean. So you're kind of like. But this theory is more grounded. Be like, they're here. They're not coming from somewhere else. Okay. Different. I, mean, I love this theory, here. by the way. I love this theory, they're but I, I don't believe it. Because also, all governments have signed a treaty. No one's allowed to fucking go explore the Arctic. What? I've never heard of that. You cannot, That's bullshit. You cannot fly. This. You're not allowed. That's bullshit. Mano? Google it. Mano, yeah. are you allowed to just go that explore? I the call bullshit. You're not allowed. I okay. call bullshit. You know, I'm not you, lying. You've you, heard this before. I, I have, yes. But do you, do you, so what's your conclusion? That he saw a race and they told him, go back and tell you people, do not okay. fucking bamboozle yourselves. Okay. So you believe it to be true? I believe maybe. Why would the military, every military has, every government has signed treaties that you're not allowed to explore anymore? It's bullshit. Okay. Why is it bullshit? Switch up the treaty There's in the no meantime. There's no way. There's no okay. way they signed that. So what's your conclusion? They said it's too dangerous. What's your conclusion? It is fucking Alex. super or dangerous. Alex. because people would go and start taking pictures of fucking greenery where there's not supposed to be greenery and mountains and Okay, hills. so what's your conclusion? That there is hollow earth. There's something. That no, not but what, why? Like, why do you believe in it? What gives it away that you think this is real and that they're afraid of us bamboozling the planet? I think these this race was so highly advanced, and us ho us Homo sapiens were coming up. They let us have a chance, like let these let, let these people live and see how far uh -huh. they can go. And we'll so watch them. they have all this dangerous technology, but they're peaceful towards us, exactly. even though we endanger them. Maybe they came from somewhere far away and they settled here and like let's humans are uh -huh. the original apes. Let them live in peace. We're not going to interfere with them. We're going to go. Okay. We're going to go here and be. You know. Okay. We're not going to interfere. What's your conclusion? Uh. I call f I f fake. Fuck you. Why? Okay, several reasons. One is that I have a friend who lived and worked in Iqaluit, which is the capital Iqaluit? of Nunavut. Yeah. Okay, he just came back this weekend. I was talking okay. with him. Bro, it's fucking cold up there. Like, but that's talking, not in the North Pole. That's not in the yeah, Arctic. Exactly. It's not even in the Arctic. Minus 49 some days. Okay. Uh -huh. No trees whatsoever. Showing me no. pictures. It's above the tree. Like, there's nothing that grows. grows okay. Yeah. Fuck. So a, it's fucking. It's, That's why we need it, global warming. So, if these people live there, right? What access do they have to, to 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 resources and renewable energy? Very difficult. B, if they are super advanced, why would they go hide all the way in the Arctic? Why would they not hide somewhere like closer to the equator, where it's nicer and more temperate climate? And if what you said, if if they come here and they're like, oh, this is a subspecies, let, let's give them space to grow. Why? Why would you give them the entire earth and reserve this little, little piece for yourself when if they were yeah, so they highly advanced... In, then, what if the whole, it's so huge inside? But we know that there's a magma core to the earth. Do we? No, we don't. That's a theory. The mag That's still a theory. Because of gravity, they think there's a magma well, core. Yeah, but yes, because of the What's force this? of pull, it has been signed the, by 12 the, nations the in the which treaty. Antarctic continents was made a demilitarized zone. Antarctic. Yeah. Not the Arctic. That's what he said, the Antarctic. No, was, this oh, place that. is in the Arctic. Yes, you're right. You're right about that. And but it's look when it was made nations. in 59, they made this. Okay, and it's only... F and yeah. it, Canada hasn't even signed it, right? And Canada owns the Arctic. You're telling me Canadian explorers haven't flown over okay. this place? So, That's fine. Um, my, uh, okay, so you... All right, let me finish. Yeah. Okay, so access to natural resources. Why okay. is it in this tiny little spot... Okay, where it's so fucking hard to live. How big is Antarctic? Live. How big is uh, Antarctic? Thank you, Olga. Well, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, what, what else? Oh, yeah. Why would they give that us the entire there, Earth when if they wanted to have like a social experiment, be like, okay, let's give them room. They, they could have given us a continent and they yeah. could have done like 
natural result or created natural boundaries for us yeah. to not cross over and take over what, the whole what earth. What if this was during uh, 16.5 million kilometers? What if this how. was during the, when all the continents were together? Pangea? Pangea, yeah. But we weren't around, bro. You're talking about hundreds of millions of years ago. We weren't no, think, even an think, idea. Sure, yeah, I think they were around sapiens at how the time. How big is Canada? Not that's even why close. They, that's why how they traverse. Bro, Homo sapiens sapiens have been around for 100,000 years. I mean, thank you, Steph. Pangea, you're talking about millions. When what was Pangea? Millions? When was Pangea? Okay. God damn, the Arctic is huge, eh? Fuck. Is that bigger than Canada? Is that what it's yeah, like? Yeah, way bigger. It's like 16. Yeah, but you, how many people have taken a plane and gone through it to the other side? Let's say from Canada to Russia. I don't think you could do that. Or Canada to... Yeah. I don't think we have enough gas in the plane to what do, do that. What do you mean? Yeah, why? Yeah, you, you, you go from Anchorage, Alaska to Russia. It's, bro, it's, it's like 100 kilometers. No, but they're going like no, this. No, no. They're not going yeah, like they're this. Going, he's talking I'm about talking going about like north this. over. Let's say from uh, Finland to If it's 16 to kilometers square, which is bigger than Canada, bro, sometimes like... It, it takes a full tank of gas in a plane to go from Montreal to, to Vancouver, bro. And his no, plane, this was like Those four hours planes. four hours in his flight towards the middle. Okay. And he saw greenery. How many people would go? F- There's no reason why. Number one, it's so cold and stuff. Why would they go, you know? They were going there trying to fight Nazis. Okay, so, so here's the problem is that you're saying that the laws of nature and physics apply to the entire earth except to this one spot. What do you mean physics? Because it's so high up, it's so far off the axis of the poles that it's freezing cold there. There's no reason why there should be just one spot of greenery. Like we know for a fact that six months out of the year, those places don't even get sunlight. So how would there be greenery? Maybe they're lying to us, bro. I don't Maybe know. the governments know and they have to play okay. dumb and they have so to you're kind of your there conclusion. Are, there so people me, don't go explore. There are too many so your flaws conclusion? in the story. So your that's conclusion? why it's a theory, conspiracy theory. No, but that's why I don't think. And first of all, the okay. hollow earth thing, it doesn't make sense because of gravitational pull. You know how much but that's mass. A, that's you, still, which okay. is stupid, which but, is uh, not stupid, but it's still But let me explain to you. We know for a fact that magma comes Come out of out, volcanoes. Okay? <laughs> you have never okay. seen a drink so aggressive. Magma comes out of volcanoes, and mm-hmm. we know that magma and lava flows are below the ocean surface, okay? And they come out during eruptions. So we know that there's something in there. B, we know the size and the... We can estimate the, the weight of the moon. And we know how much our planet needs to have in order to exert gravitational pull on the moon. So if we're a hollow, how the fuck is the moon our satellite? Like there's a lot of things. Then because that then that means that the moon is also hollow. So it's a space base. Mm. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> no, but you heard of the next conspiracy theory, the hollow moon. The well, when, uh, well, we'll bring that up another when time. When the, the spaceship landed and it fucking uh, vibrated, and it came what? back a frequency. When one of the Apollos landed, yeah, it made a sound, and it, you know how when you hit something hollow, it uh, rings. Yeah. yeah, that's what happened to the moon. Yeah. And, it, and fucking Houston's maybe like, what the, the fuck is going on? Ringing. Yeah, you know how I could tell you that's a complete lie. Yeah, tell me. Because there's no air in space. And vibrations travel through atmosphere. That's why we could hear what things. What if they were popping in air in the moon, bro? I'm just letting you know, bro. Or if there was air and vibrations, that means that it definitely is a space. Another base. theory I'm going to bring up one day. It's crazy, but space is full of water. Space is not full of oh, water. No, 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 no. I no, know. No, I no, know. No, no you're I not going to bring that up. No, no, no. I you're talking. You're talking about the dome theory. No, 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 no. But that's a you're theory. Not- no. <laughs> it's full of water, bro. Go fuck yourself, bro. That's are, you gonna bring, no are you going to bring up the Hennessy commercial as well? You bastard. What's that? Go, go watch the Hennessy commercial at home. You're going to see people are using that commercial and saying they're, they're putting it right in front of our eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, the earth is a, there's a dome over the earth. Shut the fuck up. Bro. Anyways, Simpsons. 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 Predicted a lot. Simpsons. And the first Simpson movie, they were under a dome. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. That was bro. just a town. Exactly, bro. And it wasn't so a you dome know what? full of water. Anyways, whatever. Anyways, uh, so your conclusion is it's fake because of just science. Uh, like too right? many factors. Too, too many, many factors. Things. Okay. My conclusion is it's fake as well. But I won't even go as far as uh, uh, physics and laws of nature. I know what nature. you're going to say. Okay. I know what you're going to say. You, okay. Forget all that. Let's suspend reality for a second and let's say uh, it could exist. Me, I'm going to say it's fake just based off of this one fact. There's a civilization that is more than advanced in us that can ca- take complete control of our technology uh, to the point where we, it, we they render it useless. And now all of a sudden we're a threat to them. No threat and to the planet. Threat to the planet, which is also a threat to them because if they yeah. if they if if we even even if we kill if we kill the planet with nukes and uh, nothing can grow, then they can't live either, bro. bro. You are the nuke they're because humanoids. they bamboozled their fucking. Because they're human. Let me finish. Uh, Olga goes. I love how you know, comes in with the science. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
so like I was going to say, just based off of that, um, this civilization would not allow us. We would be disarmed so quickly. They would step in. Yeah. They would step in faster than the Spanish Inquisition was looking for spices. But, but in, think, in, but in, think in, of this. In, since uh, we launched the two nukes. In North America, okay. bro. Since we launched bro, the Bro, the U- bro, the Spanish, the British, and the French committed more atrocities on the planet looking for salt, to, make, to, to make their food taste better. Okay, now we're a threat to this super advanced species, and they're just gonna be like, "Oh no, we can't do nothing about it." But why well, haven't we? We used would more get nukes? we would get raped in the asshole so fast. We we'll get raped. Why haven't we used nukes? Because of the domino effect, bro. Because they exactly. know that the minute Actually, somebody uh, presses here, a button, even here's 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 somebody somebody else is gonna start uh, We have the used nukes. Uh, they've done. Uh, how many tests have they done? Of no, but he's talking no, no, no. about like uh, for yeah, the yeah, but still, but even the but tests, the, the, the US launched two nukes. No, just to prove a point, bro. Just no. be like, you hit our ports, we're going to nuke you. But, but anyways, even, so even let me Einstein finish said, my conclusion. You have to, you are, okay, what's no. your conclusion, bro? So just based off of that, if we posed a serious threat finally, let's say they did for the longest time. They're like, ha look at these monkeys. Let them do whatever the fuck they want. And all of a sudden, we develop nuclear you, powers. Steph. And we're actually dangerous. No, keep keep going, keep and going. That, and that we're uh, and now we're actually dangerous to them. They're just going to let us be. And we're like, no, please don't use Here's nukes, another man. thing. Here's another problem, bro. If they're so advanced and they somehow figured out how to live in the Arctic where nothing grows, yeah. right? Okay, they they have underground farms or whatever the fuck they have. What's stuff in the gulag? They wouldn't care if we nuke the shit out of each other because A, the power of a nuclear bomb is nothing to the earth, bro. The earth recovers. The earth went yes. through fucking cataclysmic events, dinosaurs, volcanic eruption. Yes, the yes. earth will always recover the, and regenerate. The itself. planet will always be fine, but we would end up killing them. No, as well. yes. you wouldn't. Bro, they're in the Arctic. Why would you waste no, a they're nuke in the, in the Arctic they're in the for metal. nothing? Yeah, but what if shit vibrates in that magma, bro, you were talking about? Because let's say, let's say the whole earth gets covered by this fucking... Let's say we blow... Bro, 3,000 something nukes that we have. More. Okay. 10, 000, we have 10,000 okay. nukes in total. We end up know. blowing all those 10,000 nukes up, bro. All ten thousand. Sorry, them. and the whole planet gets Let covered in something. fucking nuclear radiation and shit. They're not. If they're humanoids. They're not going to be able to survive as well. I'm going to bring Thor into this. In the first Thor, <laughs> listen. No, 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 no. Uh, he goes to the the scientist. He goes, "What you think of magic? We think of science. They're so advanced." Who said this? Thor yeah, said this. Yeah. Okay. So their technology is so advanced, it's magic to us. So when we see it, like this is just magic they're doing, but it's science to them. So they could be so highly advanced that they also Einstein said it when he created in the Manhattan who, who said, Project. Hold on, who said this? Einstein. Ein, no, Einstein said, Einstein. "I am so sorry what we did, what I did." Okay. Einstein helped him, and he's like, "We should have never done this." He knew that it was a horrible idea, but they went through it. Right? He said that, right? Yeah. Okay. Fine. But they all said too it. many flaws for me. It's always flawed. But you know how big the Earth theory. is. Do you know how big of a hollow space that is, bro? You're talking about trillions of people living there. Yeah. It's fun to believe, bro. No, bro. No, vegetation needs believe. sunlight. It needs photosynthesis. I wish how was, how do bro, they grow things in the earth? I wish it was real. Do you LED know why? Lights. Because uh, basically it's a uh, it's a new DLC for Earth, bro. It is, bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> like every time it's like we're getting Oh, the story continues, you know Let's what I mean? Let's they do appear today. Like, hey guys, look at this. Half the world will be bamboozling religions will be fighting with each other. It won't work. We're not ready to accept them. We will never be ready to accept them. They don't exist. No, but imagine if they do, bro. No, bro. If you're that kind of humanoid race, why would you seclude yourself to fucking ISIS of Antarctica? What if it's it's better conditions? Why would you not just chill in the Bahamas? What if it's better conditions and they can control the weather in there? Because they don't want to bother the control everything. Bro, what weather? There's no clouds. There's nothing up there. (laughs) LED lights, bro. What? Bro, basically, he's talking about a, a, an entire society of marijuana. Bro, it's all hydroponics down there. That's all it is, bro. Just what, hydroponics. What's hydroponics? Like uh, growing marijuana, but Indoors. artificial with lights, LEDs Indoors. and stuff. Where? Indoors, no, on hollow earth, bro, because oh. if they're under the earth, they don't have exposure to sun. How does anything grow? What if they harvest the sun power, the sun's oh, power? You can't harvest the sun's power, bro. What you if? No, you can't. They're advanced aliens. Maybe they can no, but then, but then, then again, why would they you do annihilate this the all planet. under the earth? What's the point? The earth is so massive. We don't know what happened, bro. The earth's been were... around for what? Three mil- four million years? I mean, what? No, one I million. One point two. Billion. Did one you know, billion. Did, sorry. Did you know if we took, if we took, if we Who took, knows what happened during, bro? There's did, no history of what happened. If we took all the population on the planet, did you know we can fit everyone in into, Los Angeles. into the state of Texas? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and they, they, everyone has a house. Yeah. yeah. The entire state of Texas. So well, there's, there's space. Well, whatever. The point is, bro, they could easily live on this earth. They could have had the continent of, let's say, North America. And when Christopher Columbus or, 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 or the Vikings or whoever showed up, they could have just easily created 
cataclysmic events like waves and tsunamis to push them away and they would have just thought oh look there is what, no if, bro, what if bro they were discovered and they were in the library of alexandria bro and then they what just did burn you the just shit. say let's burn the shit so no one can know us we're here no what if bro no there's too many flaws no i no 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 it's good to believe in something bro. you know what i think it's like people believe in religion I, I, bro the guy lives in the sky bro there's levels bro if you're good bro you'll be closer to him if you're bad you're gonna go to a certain level of hell where you're gonna get that's the seven realms you know what i mean why believe in something in faith but not believe in something else you know what i mean you just it's faith bro i i choose to believe on what is uh tangible what we've seen what we studied what we know it's fun to believe and think of stuff like that no it's fun hold on uh it's, it's fun it's bro. fun it's fun to be like oh this would be cool or this would make a cool movie or this would make a cool video game it's fun to think in that sense but i don't think it's fun to believe in something but this is, is a bam- this is a bamboozle podcast bro this is you're a bamboozle person bro and could you imagine these people actually theory, exist and bro. they listen to this podcast? no no hold fuck. on it's a very good theory, theory but i'm never bashing your theory i love this theory this is such an amazing theory and it it could create a world of opportunities for movies uh, shows, video games, books, you know what I mean? It's its amazing. I love this fucking theory, but your conclusion is stupid. <laughs> my, my conclusion <laughs> is just it. they're there. Yeah, That's exactly. The conclusion. exactly. <laughs> I believe in you, Alex. There we go, bro. <laughs> All right, let's move. Uh, so, conclusion is fake, fake for two different reasons, and you, it's uh, maybe. real. It's why, maybe. why is it real? Plausible. Maybe. Plausible. Plausible. Plausible for what reason? Why? What was your conclusion? Because he can't disprove it. Okay, exactly. But that's, a, that's not. It's I, like God. I, I, I never say God doesn't okay, exist. Hold on. Let me rape you, and then you bring me to court and be like, he raped me, and I'll tell you, you know what? Disprove it. Yeah, I, it, semen kit. Rape kit. Huh? Rape kit. My Go asshole swap for DNA evidence. That's, the, that's a bad example. It was this is not the example. 50s, bro. That's a bad example. Anyways, uh, let's move on to my conspiracy. It's like religion. It, you can't okay, prove okay. it, but you can't disprove it either. Let's so, do this. So, and then we'll end with mine. You you have one as well. Oh, have no, one, keep sure. the theory okay. for next week. Don't no, no, no. What time is it? Let, let's do a special let episode. Go, let it go. Let it go. Uh, there's let 20 go. minutes. We're, we're going to do it fast. Next we're going to do it fast. Let it go. Do it fast. What about your history? Let fact? what go? Um, um, I'll turn my history fact into a conspiracy fact. Go on. Okay. okay. Uh, let what go though? No, let him go. Go. Oh, go. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the Denver airport. Okay. I know this. In Colorado. In Colorado. Colorado. There's a conspiracy theory. Yes. That um basically it's a bunker, end of the world bunker. For all of the uh, Elite. elites, yeah. Don't they have in a girl of Satan happens. and something like the world elites? The world elites, yes. Okay. And it's in Colorado, Denver, Colorado, which used to be a mining town. That's it. And there's a lot of Masonic, Masonic symbolism over there that basically uh, points Alex to this. Jones, eh? There's a uh, no, no. I I I searched it up. Um, there's um, it's uh, it was two billion dollars over budget. It was too big for Denver. Uh, there was a perfectly functioning airport, kind of like we had. We had that uh, airport in uh, Mirabel, and then they built the other Mirabel one. Mirabel was no small, reason. though. Mirabel was big. It was, was bigger it big? than ours. It was way bigger, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was far, though, from uh, Montreal. That's why, maybe. No, 20 minute drive. It's far, bro. Oh, fuck Can we go on with this? Anyways, here? so uh, that's the conspiracy is that it's uh, basically end of the world bunker for uh, Masonic elites. Why? What do you mean, why? why? Because it's up in the mountains, and there's uh, mountains, and there's water. I believe, there's gold. I, I believe you. Anyways, so yeah, but you want to bring up some of the artwork and shit? And uh, some of the stuff, like, so there's this, uh, March 19, 1994. That's when it was, uh, that's when it was uh, built or that it, w- it was commissioned to build. And then people are, they're like, uh, the, the, that this is a time the capsule. capsule beneath the stone? Yeah. This contains messages and memorabilia to the we people won't be alive. of Colorado in 2094. You don't know. You'll be alive. You drink a lot of coffee. Yeah. And then what does it say? Oh, there's spinach, there's uh, gargoyles. So there's this, and uh, if you put, if you do, hold on, put, uh, bring back the other thing, the stone, the stone slab. If you put one plus nine plus one plus nine plus nine plus four, it apparently gives thirty three, which is the highest level of the masons. You know, which uh, means perfection. Okay, bring the other one. Thirty three means perfection. Yeah, though for the masons, this is a, a gargoyle, and there was one that was jumping out of a suitcase and shit. It's a bunch of art. If you bring up uh, more I've art. seen the pure, the, the yeah, Merle. Yeah, there's this one. This Isn't one. it like a horse on fire and something? Yeah, there's a horse with fiery red eyes that killed its, uh, the the artist, a piece of it broke off and severed an artery. For a very interesting uh, conspiracy theory about, uh, and they say that underground there is five buildings. Well, it's, 
an intricate system of tunnels with Hollow five earth. with five buildings inside Going for, in the for end of the world shit. Oh, Going fuck. into the this earth, is, bro. This is the tunnels. Uh, the, for end of the world shit, basically giant bunkers, like basically nuclear the size bombs, maybe. Uh, basically, basically the size of uh, five buildings. You heard? What if? What if? Listen to this. Let me finish Listen. speaking. Okay, you're not done. Yeah, basically the size of five buildings, and these intricate tunnels all lead to them, and it's basically for the end of the world, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. What if the hollow earth people, thousands of years ago, had this issue of nuclear power and we they were bamboozling themselves and created chaos and they had to go hide under earth but not, until the earth fixed itself. And but, we came up and they're like, let's leave them and not make the same mistakes and watch over them. But now you're doing hypotheticals on hypotheticals. Always hypotheticals on hypotheticals. Oh my God, bro. No, but, but you know what I'm saying? Think of it. Cool movie idea, okay? Super cool movie idea. You know what I mean? I love this okay? shit. Civilization living with dinosaurs. They fucked up shit with nuclear bombs, killed the dinosaurs. They couldn't grow anything, so they went in the earth. The meteors were nukes. And the then when the, was and nukes, then the earth nukes, recovered, we killed the dinosaurs. Recovered because well, there was they no... they killed the dinosaurs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The earth recovered itself, and then we came up, and they're like, let's not bother them. Let them live their life. It's their turn. We're going to stay here humble with our technology and everything and watch them. And if they do something like we did... So were they like their children and exactly. they're watching over us? Yeah. That's a nice movie idea. That's uh, it, oh, it's it, a great movie it, idea. It's it adds great. something nice to your thing. Yeah. And what if all these crazy billionaires, bro? Why are they building bunkers, bro? Where, where are they going? Maybe they know. Okay, and here in Denver, well, because there's a tunnel going into Hollow Earth. Let's build a bunker. Well, because and know, enter Hollow Earth. Well, because they can bad. become paranoid, suspicious, and they be like, "Oh my God, the world's ending." The billionaires are just as susceptible to stupidity as regular people. More susceptible. It's just that they have uh, they more have susceptible, yeah. more susceptible. And it's just that they have money and power. Yeah, they have to the do whatever the fuck. Yeah. They have Did the resources know? to do whatever saw, the fuck they want. I saw a video yesterday about um, the billionaire schedule. So the higher you go in uh, income, the less friends you have that That's have the normal. same income. So. You can't socialize with people lower of your status if you're super rich. So what they do is, and there's a industry evolved around it of events that happen in the world, like Monaco, Wimbledon, Wimbledon, whatever. And it's January. It starts in the Bahamas. All the yachts are there, and they go go to the rich go to one area, go to the Super Bowl, then go there, then go there. There's an actual yeah, schedule. Yeah, we know this. And there's actual big ships that take the yachts to the next yeah. area. Ah. And that's how they socialize. Every year, it's like a tour. They go to place to place, big events, Monaco, Grand Prix, blah, 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 uh, World Cup, blah, blah. Uh -huh. and, they just tr and that's how they uh, communicate with each other. They socialize by going to these events. That's fine. I don't yeah. see any issue. That's yeah. crazy, though. Bro, that's been Bro, going, going on, on forever. forever. That's, that's crazy, been going though. on forever. Why is that crazy? I didn't know that. You think I didn't know that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. With normal people. That's hold on. I didn't know that. What's crazy about that? Nothing crazy. No, it's crazy. Like, didn't know. The he's amount just, of money they're spending they just know. to go like a tour. They're going to place to place just to show off their wealth and socialize with other billionaires. Yeah. Because they, yeah. they can't have fun with regular people anymore. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's, that's normal. crazy, bro. And there's a whole industry Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Yeah, of course. Do you, go to, do, you, do you go to the park and start playing with uh, random kids? No, but why are you making fun of me, bro? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Apologize. No, but seriously, Apologize. do you? Apologize. Yeah. Apologize. Turn the cheek, bro. No, seriously. I'm calling no, but seriously, bro. Bro, turn the other butt What's his name? No, seriously, do you? Do you? Uh, don't say. It. Come on, bro. How do you know that's his name? Why are you confirming or denying? What are you talking bro? about? Exactly. So, uh, do you go play at the playground with uh, random kids? I do. Black kids only. <laughs> Show support, bro. Yeah, bro. No, but it's not. What's it's wrong with that? Anyways, it's. What's it's, wrong with playing with black kids, bro? Everything. Are you a fucking racist, bro? No. Okay, good. But I'm not a pedophile like you. What's worse than That's because no one's going to believe them. What's, What's worse than a rapist, bro? A child rapist. Oh, I like that. <laughs> a you haven't seen rapist. the video? What's worse than a you child video, What's worse than a child rapist? A dog rapist. A baby bro. rapist. A retarded child rapist. No, those exist, bro. Retard strength, uh, bro. What? No, that's not what he said. No, no I mean, they like, have, but they have no, retard strength. No, bro. like, yeah, the babies just, that are I'm like. Just in, putting know, that in there, bro. That are retarded? Yeah. And they take advantage of That's an actual thing. Yeah, it's an actual thing. That's I think that's the worst. Um, okay, go on, go go. We, so we're anyways, crunching so, for time. Let's go. So that's that's my theory on the Denver airport. Uh, do do you guys want to start with my conclusion since I brought it up? Go. Uh, I think it's not real. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Bullshit. bullshit dude. You, th you say it's bullshit? Yeah. Padli, why? I've been hearing this from Padli for years. Okay. Can I say why? Yeah. Can I say why? Yeah. Uh, somebody would. What the fuck was that? Nothing. 
Because somebody would have snuck into the the tunnels and into these buildings somehow and gotten video footage or picture footage by the by this time. Okay. And this is from the nineties. Okay. So it wouldn't have had the. What if it's super so deep? So I'm gonna say that it's true. Fuck you, bro. For once, I'm gonna go against oh, both of you. Oh, I, I like this. I like this. We're switching it up. Where's Denver in the you know states? Put, is it in put the Jorge, middle? Put Jorge in the gulag, bro. Put Jorge in the gulag. Yeah, Bobby Lee. <laughs> he did. Bobby Lee did. Get no, it. no, no did not he? because of that comment. Anyways, but um, <laughs> where's Denver located in the states? Is it in the c- kind in of center? Colorado? No, uh, Midwest. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I think it's true. Why? To some degree. I, so here's the thing: it's a mining town, right? Mm-hmm. So good miners, they know how to build underground structures and infrastructure. It oh, might have been funny. it might have been built over a mine, an X mine or something mm-hmm. with deep shafts. Mm-hmm. I don't know when it was built, but I'm sure it was. But like, if it was built, no, the World mines were War to the II. west. The, the airport is to the east. Oh, another thing is the the runways of the airport uh, look like a swastika apparently, but their excuse is that um, it's to be able to to deal with all weather conditions. Yeah, that's right. And first of all, bro, the, the whole swastika thing has been overplayed. Just because things look like swastikas, bro, doesn't mean it's Nazi symbolism. The swastika has been used bro, for two thousand yes, years by everybody. Okay, so, so we have to get over that thing. Keep going now. Um, so we can say the N word so again. <laughs> naggers. So Keep going. Nag- yeah, you bunch of naggers. Stop nagging me. So uh, I'm posting on Discord right now. Uh, also, thing, what was I saying? Uh, Fuck! Stop cutting me off. I'm oh. Not cutting you off. Uh, if that it was it, built post World War Two, yeah, it was built in ninety five. Okay, so it's it built two billion, okay, perfect. Two billion dollars over budget. It's twice the size of Manhattan. Okay, so island. Okay, so it's really big. It's gigantic. Okay, um, I think being Midwest, it's not close to any big cities that are likely to get hit by nuclear strikes like Los Angeles, New York, and and so mm-hmm. on and so forth. So you're kind of a more secluded area. Uh, big enough airport, obviously, to get a lot of aircraft at the same time. Uh, I think it, it because it was built post World War II. I think when they were building it, somebody from the Pentagon or higher ups were probably like, "Hey, let's factor in some anti-nuclear facilities in here, just in case push comes to shove." I know I don't think it's it's for the entire global elite. Like I don't think people from like well, just fucking for China. The United I think States. it's the United States. Like I think if push comes to shove and shit, like yeah, the richest people or like the top level politicians might be flown into to Denver Airport and put into these underground bunkers. But wouldn't it be a little? Stupid to put in an airport where literally everyone oh, goes they fly there. in and they go right away. But hold on, but it's open to the public. You don't yeah, think but probably not all runways. The they mil- probably have runways that are specifically not for the public or like military sections, mm. and it's probably they go into hangars that de- like immediately with elevators go down. Their excuse for the tunnels under the airport was for to to move baggage around very easily through the airport. Right, but those tunnels probably also move people through them, and there's probably tunnels under those tunnels. Yeah, like especially if you're telling me how 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 over budget was it. By two billion. billion. That's all a big amount. In, in, the, in the 90s. That's in a big amount. And it was Yeah, late. maybe. maybe it's That's a big amount. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's plausible. You think so? Yeah. But they're not meant to live there to, forever. They're just you have there to, until nuclear uh, if you, fallout yeah, finishes. Because if you have to build structures, you're not going to build them in big cities that are con- consistently Hold on, because I'm about to argue with Olga. Okay, uh, Olga, indulge us in the chat. If Colorado isn't in the Midwest, where the fuck is it? Because it's not on the West Coast. It's not in the East Coast. It's not Center? in the South. It's not in the North. Central? Where is it? Central? No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hear what she has to say. And pull up the map. Yeah, pull it up. Actually, Google that shit. Anyways, keep going. Sorry, I cut you off. Uh, no, so you're not gonna put in big cities like Los Angeles nah. or San Jose or New York or all these cities are gonna get fucking. I get a lot of Mexicans. A lot of Mexicans are bamboozled like- by nuclear weapons. Yeah. Right. So it's a, it's a decent place to but- to put something, and it, you have the cover. It's it's an airport. Like you have that. No, no, it's, this is just an airport thing. You know what? Maybe it's mm. fake. You know what my theory is? How did they pay everyone who built it to be quiet? You no, because a very a, probably a very small group of people worked on it. Like the main workers were working on the surface, and you probably had a small group of of members working, and they probably got paid very good money and yeah. signed the documents of secrecy with the Pentagon. You have a room here, yeah, <laughs> basically. Yeah, basically, they were, maybe they were offered. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, you and your family, when shit, you and know, maybe even even after you die, if it happens, I don't know, in a hundred years, you're, yeah. you're, you're dead. Your your yeah, ancestors, whatever. you know, your lineage. Because think continue. about it, we always know, we always hear That's about. That's why bunkers. it was so expensive because they had to pay off all these people. We always hear about uh, like military bunkers uh, being built. Where's Colorado? West or Midwest? The West. The West consists of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Oh, okay, it's in the West actually. Never mind. Oh, whatever. Okay. Whatever. It doesn't apologize. Matter. I apologize. apologize. I'm done apologizing. And so, so just to end on this, yeah. the the last thing that could support that theory is that 
because you always hear about like secret military bases and mm -hmm. they have like secret nuclear facilities and these in random malls. remote places. No, but it also in like mm -hmm. random remote places like Area 51. Like not, not Area 51. Yeah, exactly. Okay? I have a theory about Area 51. So wait, it doesn't wait, exist. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. So now what they're actually doing is that they're actually creating anti-nuclear bunker silos under places that are out in the open and exposed, right? Because sometimes the best place to hide is out in the open. So right under, under Colorado noses. Airport. Mm. And that all these Area 51 places are, like you said, are fake or they're just decoys. So like if push comes to shove and let's say Putin does fire nuclear weapons, he's going to try and hit Area 51 and all these places where the bunkers are supposed to be, right? Yeah. But there's nothing there. They're just empty, hollow structures that are meant to, to evade. But why would they pick Denver? Why wouldn't they pick Denver? Who expects Denver? Who expects Denver? Think about it. It's it, it's it's relatively remote. It was built very late in 95, which means that post-World War II, they had 40, 50 years to develop architectural plans and engineering plans on how to build this perfect thing. Mm. I don't know, man. Plus, big mining town. They probably have good equipment to dig deep. Oh, they have right. experience. I didn't think about that. Good builders on site. I didn't think about that. I didn't ah, think about the God. mining. You know part. what else is in Denver? Ca Casa Bonita. Casa Bonita. What's Casa Bonita? <gasps> you know Casa the Bonita. greatest restaurant in the world. Casa Are you Bonita. Serious? Yeah. Why is it the greatest restaurant? You know in they the world? bought it, eh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so your conclusion is fake. Why? No, I think it's true now. You changed my mind. Maybe. Yeah, you see that? I think yeah. it's just Logic. a bunker. Just for the. Uh, What's your conclusion? I think it costs so much because they have to pay off so many people to be quiet. Ah, uh, that would explain the $2 billion yeah. over budget. First of all, and that's what they tell you because the Pentagon is never going to reveal if, if they were involved actual budgetary things. Yeah. Okay, so, imagine, so imagine if they admit that it's $2 billion over budget, how much the actual cost to build this was. Think about it. Why, okay. why does Denver, Colorado need an airport that big? It doesn't. Exactly. Why is there so much land area being taken by this airport? He said it's bigger than Manhattan. Why it's do you double the size? Double so, the size of Manhattan. Me. So the airport it's as big as Manhattan. Double the that, size no. of Manhattan. No, he no no he's probably talking, right he's, right no, no. he's talking about the probably the land that belongs to the airport, yes. not the structure okay. of the airport. Yes, but still, that's, that's why big, but still bro. take that double the size okay. underground? That's as big as Montreal. Double the size of Manhattan. That's 10 Montreal. Million people no, not fed, underground. Bro, just on the island of Manhattan, ten million people. No 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 no. You're talking about surface area on the surface, but think about it. That's like military compound shit. Why do you need that much land fenced off? Like, why do you need that much land for an airport? What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah. Which is insane. That's, That's a lot, bro. That's so How big is Montreal? Denver, How big bro, Montreal? Denver is 400 square kilometers. It, bro, it's one third of the city, bro. The, okay. the airport That's what I'm saying. is one third of the city. So That's why do, you need, that, why just do you need that much land? They expand. Fuck. They, no, you know, what? you know why? Because if you hit, like if people did find out or they do presume that Denver is, like if you, like your bunker isn't going to be necessarily under the middle of that airport. It might be off to a side or something. Bro, you know how big 140 square uh, 140 square miles is to cover? No, they're That's saying not it, one nuclear they're bomb. Saying, they're saying there's five, the, uh, the total, but look how massive that exactly, is. Exactly, like the bunker could be like somewhere no, in no, that corner. No, no, but they're saying under this airport, there is a total of five massive end of the world buildings with uh, all state of the art technology of uh, growing plant life, all this kind of shit. It, okay. Five buildings, but we're talking about like five gigantic buildings like the World Trade Center, under, under. Well, well not tall. Well, not, not, not as Center. tall you as the World like, Trade Yeah. But like massive, massive. We're be. talking about like massive it could be. fucking buildings under there. Why do you bro, that look much the parking land? lots. Yeah. Look at parking lots. Why look do you at, that look that at much his land? Bro, he's wearing glasses. Who's wearing glasses? <laughs> the <laughs> building, This guy. Oh my God. Why do you need that much land, right? You need generators. You need filtration systems for water. Uh, underground irrigation systems. You need things to purify work, air. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's why it costs so much. You have to pay all those plumbers, bro. Yeah, Keep and quiet. they had 50 years to develop this technology. And this was in the 90s, so 2 billion back then is what now? So this was when 94, so like they were building 5. this in the 80s then. Huh? They were building this in the 80s. Yeah, for sure. Or oh, underground, maybe. What uh, if they were building when, from, the, when did the Cold if, War end? Listen, what if they built it so long ago that they needed something to cover it, and so they built the airport? Oh, my God. I may have bamboozled this. You, you may be right. What if? Oh no no! Hold I on. am right. Hold on, hold on. What if they fenced off this land to build these bunkers, and then people caught on, and they're like, "Why can't we go here? Why is this whole right. land mass?" It was turning into another Area Fifty One. It was turning into another bunker type of situation, and people, uh, were, airport. And people started airport. asking questions. They're like, "Oh, airport." Yeah. See. Oh my God! Yeah, Could this might be legit. Next week. And on that bombshell, uh, are we dipping? We're out.
We're out. We're you, out. You're not going to say yours? No, we don't have to. I'll save it for next week. It's okay, okay. Mine's really good, too. Okay, Could okay. I hang my suit in the closet? Of yeah. course. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hang mine next year. <laughs> all right, guys. Look, thank you for tuning in. Uh, PantelsComedy.com for all Pantels stuff. Where is this week coming from, bro? <laughs> you and Devalu. The shit on your shirt. That's yeah. <laughs> Make every, every night. Shit you in your beard. Yeah. Make sure, bro. All right. Love shit. Uh, apparently, Montreal Airport is bigger. You know what? If Jorge... Is wrong. I swear to God, Google. There's Google, no way. Google Montreal Airport uh, uh, size. There's no way Montreal. Montreal Airport, airport size. Bro, please. how small is Manhattan at this point? That's what I'm like. No, Manhattan is huge, bro. Montreal's I know, bigger than Manhattan. I, I, I understand, but you get what I'm saying? 140 square kilometers. Let's see. No, so, hold on, hold miles. on. The airport. Wait, Dorf, it's at kilometers. No, our airport. No, it's at kilometers. Our airport owns more land. And doesn't use it. They own the yeah. golf course. Yeah, look, seventy kilo- uh, seventy square kilometers. Oh, buffer zone of two hundred ninety. That's the thing. Oh, shit. They, uh, the Dorval Air, Dorval Golf, and around the area, it's still theirs, but they haven't developed it. If they want to, they could turn around to the the golf course and be like, uh, "We're taking our land back." They, really? They're, they're paying it everywhere around. Even uh, near Dorval, near Sam's parents, there was a min, there was a nine hole golf course, and uh, the airport took it back. And they haven't done nothing. You just took back the land. Oh, fuck. For no reason. Steph goes, tear the paper suit off all dramatically. No, no, no. no I'm hanging suits. it, bro. It's expensive. All right. So, <laughs> all right. so guys, I thank you, for, tu- made out of thank you for tuning in. Pantalkscomedy.com for all of uh, his stuff. Uh, you find me, linktree slash I am Poseidon. You find all my links on Instagram, Twitter, etc. PX, under, is there an underscore on your name? Never. PX, alas, on Instagram and Twitter. VI underscore RON uh, for Viron on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, the Pornographic Conservative on Instagram and Twitter. I think that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bro, sit the fuck down. Peace. Peace out.